What's up, y'all? Welcome to the game day with Heavy Cardboard, where we teach, play, and discuss medium and heavy strategy board games, war games, 18xx, and tonight we have Keeper, designed by Richard Breeze and published by his own publishing house, R&D Games. So it's day 21 of the advent of holiday streaming, hashtag HC Advent, 21. Three more to go. We got this, right? So I'm your host, Edward Euler. You guys know, well, you should know at this point, everybody. <laughs> Matt Kleiker. Sweater Mike. And Adrian. All right. So should be a fun time tonight. Now, uh, full disclosure, I have played this a couple of times. These fellas have not. So remember that when you're placing your bets on who to choose. Just saying. <laughs> okay. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be an involved teach tonight, uh, just so you guys know. So as usual, I'm going to bring the chat down. I'm going to bring all the other cameras down as I normally am want to do, because like I said, it is a bit of an involved teach. Um, speaking of which, I wanted to give a shout out to our buddy, Paul Grogan. So if you guys know his channel, Gaming Rules, his teach is actually going to be, I think, available tomorrow or soon at least and we're going to link to it down below so if you'd rather watch that or maybe supplement the two of them he's a really good friend of ours so he helped me with this teach as far as the uh the uh, fair tiles go because the way it's written in the rule book i really like richard breeze he's a really nice guy that is not clear. So thankfully, Paul Grogan has that uh, spelled out and he was nice enough to walk me through it. So I was able to teach you guys well that tonight. So yeah, props to Paul. Check it out, Gaming Rules over on his channel. That said, thanks everybody joining us around the world, live as well as after the fact. Um, yeah, you all ready to do this tonight? I'm ready. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Rock and roll. Cool. All right, let's do this. Here we go. Matt, take it away. Okay. Set in the lands of Keedom, players use their keeper to manage and recruit a team of skilled workers, or keeples, over four seasons in order to develop their farm and village, to hold seasonal fairs, and to trade with local boatmen. Players choose the best combination of fields to which, uh, of which to send their keeples from their keep. The keeples will work in those and other fields to gain resources, raw materials, wheat, livestock, and gems. They may also gain actions, knowledge and assistance from travelers, such as building plans and rewards, and opportunities to trade with the local boatmen. The keepals work more productively with a follower who has the same skill, giving players the opportunity to work together for their mutual benefit. In certain circumstances, keepals may additionally work twice during a season before laying down for a well-earned rest whilst awaiting recruitment for the following season. The player who best manages their team and creates the most valuable village and trades will be rewarded with the most points to win the game. The acclaim of their fellow players and the recognition of Keywood, the distant and aging ruler of the Keedom. All right. So if you guys aren't familiar, Keeper here is continuing the series of key games uh, that Richard Brees started with, I think it's either Keywood or Keydom, one or the other, but many, many moons ago. So just to be clear, we are playing with the character edition. However, all of the character edition tiles are not in this game because honestly, each of the keeples, all the meeples that are in this game, these tiles have to do with the actual faces of the, of the keeples themselves. And it's just a pain in the butt to have to mm -hmm. manage both without the camera and much less with the camera. So these are out of the game, but all of ours have cool little faces on them. So just okay. wanted to point that out. Cool. All right, so let's get started. So what you're looking at here is you have the country boards, which are the four in the middle of the table where we're going to be placing our keepers or our keepers and our keepoles. Mm -hmm. More on those later. So the different areas are colored these are actually called different fields. So there are 15 fields on each of the four country boards. They're going to provide either different resources or actions. And then on each of them, there is a keep field, all right? Right here where our keepers will go. There are spring country tiles. So these eight that are going to be right here, these are the ones that we randomly drew out of the bag 
to seed the game before the game starts. We're going to be replacing these with different season tiles. Spring tiles may come out in subsequent seasons, but there's always going to be eight to begin with, all right? There are the four boat tiles over there. There are actually six of them, but only four are selected at random at the beginning of each turn, okay? And then there are 19 resources in this game. And so when I zoomed out, I wanted to show you guys here, right there, there are 19 resources in this game. <laughs> They're all going to be off camera, but yeah, 19 resources. So I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of scope as to what you're looking at there and the different resources that are in the game. More on those here in a little bit. Now on our player areas, Every player has all of the following things. They have their player board, which is here, and all the building spaces are called plots. So you have the fields, is, or I should say you have the farms, and then you have the three rows or columns of villages for in which to place your tiles. You have fair tile spaces here, and then resource holding spaces here. We have our keep tile, which is where excess meeples or keeples will be going throughout the game. Then we have our keeper. So our keeper is actually our main person. Our, everybody has one keeper in their player color. They're going to be the one that's kind of waving. So you'll notice this symbol here matches the symbol that's out here on the board on the actual keep fields. Okay, So there are four of them out there. Notice a little dude or dudette waving. That's going to be important to differentiate between a keeper and a keepole. So everybody starts the game with a team of eight keepoles or workers. I may use those two terms interchangeably, so just heads up. And there are seven different colors in the game. So there's brown, gray, green, blue, black, orange, and everybody starts with two white, white or wild. More on these later. Then we have the victory point markers at the top of our player board. These double as for shipping scoring, but also we're going to use these for final scoring as well. Then we have the 12 home tiles over here. These can be built during the game to be placed on our player board. Obviously the village tiles will be going into the village spaces and the farm tiles will be going into the farm locations. Everyone starts the game with three finished goods, one stone, one brick, and one wood. These are the uh, cylinders, as you guys can see there. And then everybody starts with three fair tiles, one spring, one summer, one fall. There are more than there are players in the game, so the other ones are just discarded from the game at the beginning. So everybody starts with one of these. So the game takes place over four seasons, starting in spring, ending in winter. Players take turns playing our keeples and our keepers onto the country boards or just the keeples or workers onto their own player boards to take actions. At the end of a season, fairs are going to be held to display various resources and score points. At the end of the winter season, points are scored for the different farms and buildings that we've built and whoever has the most points wins the game. On a player's turn, they have four options, which will either get them resources, acquire building tiles, build, upgrade, or use buildings that they built, or work on a boat to gain resources or points. So you have four options on your turn. So the four options are, you can play a keeple, meaning a worker, mm -hmm. a meeple, out here on the country boards to gain resources or take actions or you can play a keeple or worker to your own player board. So onto anything that you've built already onto your player board. You can play your one keeper onto an empty keep field on the country boards to claim that country board. And last but not least, if you have no keeples or keeple, they've all been played, at that point you can start taking lay down actions to lay down your keeples to gain resources or take actions. Because like Matt said during the very beginning, every worker can work twice in a given season. More on that here in a little bit. All right, so let's start off by talking about playing a keeple onto the country board. So to do that, 
The active player, so whoever the first player is, chooses one keeple from their keep area on their player board. So you're going to choose one of your eight guys to be able to go out and work. You can place them out here, and I'll just choose the brown one here. You can place them standing up onto any space on any of the four country boards to take the associated action. And I want to stress standing up because, again, if I place him out here, that shows he has worked once. Once he lays down, that shows that he has worked twice and he's done for the season. Cannot work anymore. He taps out. Okay? Overtime is done for the season for him. All right? So the selected space that you choose to go and work on it must have either zero or one existing keeples on it. Okay? If a space has no existing keeples on it, which at the beginning of the game, there are no keeples out there, okay? So there are no workers out there. So when I place my keeple, I can either place it onto, or I can place it onto any of the available spaces that are out here on any of these boards. So we'll start with the simple stuff. If I go out here and it matches the color of the border of the square, of the field in which I'm in. And if you look close in the character edition, and actually, I want to zoom in on this real quick just to show you guys. So, you'll notice that right here on this brown space, there's a little axe right there, right? If you look in the character edition, dude's carrying a little axe. So, if you can't see the colors, colorblind friendly, you can match it up that way, okay? But for the most part, we're going to be talking about if it just matches the color of the location that it goes around, all right? And I should point out, if you're not at 1080p, now would be a good time to do so, so you can see everything. So, I place my worker out here. If it matches the border of that location, you get two resources, or you get to take the action twice, whatever it is. So, I put this guy out here, boom, there, I would get two wood, two basic wood, just like what it shows right there. Pretty simple, right? Mm -hmm. If I put him out here and he does not match the color, so notice that would be a green one, and the green one has the little pitchfork, little looking thing, just like this uh, location does, and all of these do, so I won't explain this for every one. If I place him out here and he does not match the color, I get one resource. Pretty simple, mm -hmm. right? If it's white, again, white keeples are wild, meaning they match everything. So if I place him out here, I would get two of whatever it is. I would get two pigs, et cetera, et cetera, okay? So white or wild. Once the selected keeple is placed, the active player then must offer other players to join, called joining actions. So we go clockwise from the active player. So if I place my keeple and I put him here, I would right now get two resources. But we go to Adrian. Adrian, would you like to join me? Well, sure. your, your options to join me are you must match the okay. color of keeple that I placed out here or wild. Mm -hmm. It does not matter the color of the location. Mm -hmm. It must match the color of the keeple or a wild. So if I place here, you can only place a brown or a white. You cannot place a green, even though a green would match that color. Okay. okay? So if I place here... And I say, hey, Adrian, do you want to join? You say, sure. Okay, cool. You come over, join. Doesn't matter who placed where. There's no tracking of who placed them. Okay. At that point, we match the color and we have a joiner. That means we're go each going to get three resources or take that action three times, whatever it is. If I had placed over here and, yep, you decided to come join, we each then get two. So by myself... It's one and two. Together, it's three or two. Okay. Does that make sense? Each. Each. Okay. Okay. Now, if Adrian either cannot, because he does not have that color meeple or keeple, or he does not have white, or he just elects not to, it then goes to the next player. Mike, do you want to join me? Yes or no? If you choose to join, that's it. Only one joiner. There's a maximum of two keeples per location, per field. Okay, so if Mike chooses not to, then we go to Matt. If Matt chooses not to, well, that's it. 
all right? So then he would work by himself. And then at that point, once everyone has either one person has joined or nobody has joined, we will get the associated number of resources. And by we, I mean me and the player that joined me or just me by myself. I want to stress this because this is the core mechanic of this game. So when you place out here by yourself, if you match, you get two. If you don't match, you get one. Mm -hmm. And a joiner will add one to that. It's plus one. Okay, cool. All right. All right. And so that's the only time that joining can happen is when the first me no. is placed in there? No. So we'll, we'll get, get to that. that. Okay. okay. All right, so that's if you place and there is nobody on the location in which you're going to go to. Is that clear, though? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. But let's say maybe, uh, maybe I, uh, someone, it doesn't matter whether it was me or someone else, has placed that keeple on that. We each take turns going one at a time. No, obviously, nobody chose to join me in that case. It becomes my turn. Or maybe it's Adrian's turn. On his turn, Adrian says, okay, on my turn, you know what? Now I'm going to go ahead and come out there. Again, even though it's a different action and a different time, you have to match the color of the keeple or a wild. Okay. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So in that case, you by yourself would get three resources. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. You by yourself would get two resources because you don't have anybody to join with you. However, when you place that... You can lay him down. Now that player, that, that keeple joined you, now you can get three resources. So he worked just like when he joined you originally. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Go ahead, ask Mike. Okay, so you put the first one it's down. A, no, no, no. Forget who placed it. It does not matter who placed it. Well, who, whoever placed the first one in sure. there, they Somebody collected their resources. This. Nobody followed, would have collected two resources. Collected two. Okay. So it's another player's turn in a subsequent turn, mm -hmm. whatever. They place this there or they place a white mm -hmm. because white is wild and that's okay. So then when they place there, they nobody's going to join them because you're allowed a maximum of two per field. If he chooses two, as is, or three. And only the person that placed that second one gets the three. Sure. Because who, uh, the game has no memory. Got it. Okay. okay. All right. I'm is that you. clear? It is that, now. That, that is the single <clears throat> most important thing, and that's why I'm really driving this point home. I want to make sure that everyone understands that. Okay? All right. And again... Last thing I'll drive home. When you follow, or i.e. join, or there is an existing keeple out here, it must match that color or be wild. So even if placed there, it's still a brown or a white that goes onto that location. Okay? So if you were to join that, that would be one, two resources. Your choice. You do not have to lay them down. It's possible that there may be one already laying down mm -hmm. when you go to that location. In that case, one. Yeah. Okay? Or if he was already laying down and you go there, two. That makes sense. Yep. He's Good. laying down, he's asleep, and isn't he's working done for, He's done yeah. for the entire yeah. season. Okay. Okay? All right. Cool. All right. Good deal. Good. All right. So that is... You, you now legitimately understand about 75% of the game. Okay. okay. Right there. That mechanic. Now... Playing a, that's one of the four options, playing to a country board. You can play to any of the locations. Before we go on to that, I want to go over what these different things do. A lot of them are pretty self-explanatory, okay? Get a basic resource, right? So that would be a basic wood. Get a wheat. Turn one basic, uh, turn basic into upgraded, meaning from cube to cylinder. We'll explain why here in a little bit. Get a tile or... If I place there and you join me, that means get two building tiles. And that's these. That's how you're going to add them onto your supply to then be able to build them later. Make sense? Yep. Okay. It cool. comes to your supply. Correct. Because this action, notice the building symbol. So there are two symbols on your actual tiles that you own here. So you'll notice there is a half symbol over there on the top left corner, kind of the base of the uh, of the house. And then you have the whole house. Here. Oh, that's a that lean-to. There you go. Think of it that way. All right. Okay. 
So that symbol looks just like this, which is how you go about building. I'll go through the mechanics of that at the very end, okay? Get a pig, get a horse, get a sheep, turn any one cube into two different cubes, so on and so forth. Upgrade a building, we'll talk about that later here in a little bit. Uh, a discount building space, et cetera, et cetera. So pretty basic, the, the iconography is really good here, I think, okay? Mm -hmm. Good, all right, we'll move on. So action one, playing a keeple out onto the country board, done, all right. Next uh, option is playing a keeple to your own player board. This works nearly identical as the country board placement, but with a couple of differences. You must place on a building tile in either the village or the farm that's previously built. So in other words, uh, yeah, let's say I have built this building. That is the only building in which I can play one of my keepals. Notice color doesn't matter. It doesn't have a border. So I will be able to take that action once. So doesn't matter what color I choose there. I take the action. Okay. Other players do not get to join. You can never play keeples on another player's board. So this is my work area and my work area only. They will always come from my supply. Okay. And then uh, all the other rules apply for normal placement. So here I would be able to do it once, et cetera, et cetera, whatever it is. Okay, cool. Next is playing a keeper onto an empty keep field on the country board to claim it. So everybody has one keeper, or I'm sorry, one keeper, keeper. which it, or your main, your main worker, okay, mm -hmm. your main dude or dudette. So to be able to do so, once per season, as the action in place of playing a keeper. So real quick, I've played one keeper out there. I could choose to place them now. I could wait until all of them are gone. I can do it, but that is my action by placing my keeper out there. So you place it onto one of the fields, okay? So let's say we have some dudes out here. It doesn't matter. We'll figure it out later. Cool, people have taken actions, doesn't matter. Doing this, claiming this board is going to do a few things for you. First off, all the keepals. At the end of the season, that's your workers for next turn. Mm. So everybody starts with the same eight workers. That's about to change as we go along. It is possible that you have more or less than the eight in which you began. That mechanic is in keeping with the spirit of the ah, whole series. It right? is. Mm -hmm. The country board will be the one that the player gets to manipulate as well. More on that. In a li that's one of the coolest things about this game. Also, any extra keepals that a player has on their keep tile after they have claimed this, the moment they claim it, if any player has any keepals or workers on their keep tile, which this is for excess of eight, you're going to lay them down and you're going to get whatever the resource is. So it's either a resource cube of your choice or any of those four animals. Okay, pretty simple. Awesome. All right. I think that one skated right by me. Okay, uh, we'll, we'll cover it okay. later. Okay, all right. All right. Did, I'm sorry, when you, when you do this claim, do you uh -huh. get those no, keepals no, sir. immediately? No, okay. End of the but season. This, this end of the thing. season. Okay. And I should note, the people can still play to this tile yeah. because there might be things that are only available on this tile. But you know what? You're feeding them mm -hmm. more workers for next season. That makes sense? Mm -hmm. All right, cool. So we have covered playing a keeple out here onto the country board. We've covered playing a keeple to your player board onto anything that's built out here it would, that requires a worker. We've covered putting your keeper out here and claiming a country tile. The last thing left that you can do on your turn is laying down a keeple. Now, once a player has claimed a country board, i.e. they've played their keeper, and they have no more keepals to play, and at least one player still has keepals or a keeper to place. Meaning, in other words, all my dudes are gone off my board up here. Once that happens, if somebody still has actions to take, now I get to start laying people down on my turn, okay? So exactly like placing, except here, I get to do that. I get to do one of it because that's gray and it doesn't match the outside. On my next turn, I can lay that down and take two horses, etc., etc. 
Same thing works just like placing. So they're working for the second time. If they're already laying down, you know what you can't do? Use them again. Cool? Mm -hmm. All right. Makes sense. All right. So if there is one keeple, you'll get one or two resources, depending on whether or not it matches the border. If there are two keeples there, you will get one, two, or three resources or actions, depending on whether or not they match the color of the border, and if you choose to lay down both keeples. So in this case, if you lay down either one, how many would you get? Uh, two. Okay. If you choose to lay down both of them? Three. Okay. You get to activate one tile when you lay down. Okay. Okay. Cool. You continue to do this as long as people still are taking actions. But once everyone has exhausted their player board, we're going to come to the end of the season. And, it, and it's two because it matched the color, right? Correct. Yeah. Right. If it was in a different... Right. Line. If these two were here, it would be one to lay down or two to lay them both down. Exactly. Okay? Cool? Good. So we reach end of the season. And again, a season doesn't end until all players have played all of their keepers and their keepers to claim one of the country tiles. Once a uh, country tile has been claimed... No one else can claim that one, obviously. We're not going to arm wrestle over it. It's just that one's been claimed. All right? After the last player plays their final keeple, so let's say I'm the last player, I st I'm the only one with somebody left, I put them out here, I do whatever the action is, we're done. At that moment, everybody not named Edward gets to then take one more lay down action. Meaning, okay, if there's somebody standing up on your board, then, okay, cool, lay it down and get the associated action or resources. Everybody except the player who played the last keeper or keeple. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. Got it. Reason is they're going to start the next turn. So there's the, there, or next yeah. season. All right. And then if, if there's none to lay down, then just too bad, so sad. Yeah. And remember, you also have your player board as well okay. to lay down. Okay? Okay. All right. Cool. Okay, so the person with the most keeples on a given season is going that's exactly how many keeples are going to be played and that person will never get to lay one down the first part's right second part's wrong and here's why because okay. if they take a lot of follow actions yep. oh they can get them out faster exactly got it okay cool all right so if any players okay so end of the season Okay, we played our last keeple, everybody gets one more lay down action, and then we go to the end of the season. If anybody forgot to lay down any people that are out here, any keeples, which is in excess of eight, which it'll make sense here in a little bit, they then get to lay them down now and get the associated resource. So it's kind of a, oh, you forgot, it's okay, get your stuff now. Okay. okay. At the end of the season. Yeah. All right. Then... Players get to display resources for their respective fair tiles. And this is the big thing where we get to talk about uh, what Paul Grogan clarified. So thank you for that. Players get dealt three for the first three seasons at the beginning of the game. So I'm just going to go ahead and reveal mine so I can show you guys what they look like. It's not a huge secret. You don't have to show people. You can. All right. So, for instance, at the end of spring, if I have one cow and I have one... Uh, orange cube here in my resource, then I can score this tile and score two points. All right? So I show the resources. I do not discard the resources. Think of it as like a, a, a county fair. I'm just showing you this amazing melon I grew or whatever. Cool, but I, I don't have to get rid of it. So I show that I have a cow. I show that I have an orange resource. Okay? Now, there are different seasons, you'll notice, spring, summer, fall, and then that symbol is going to be for winter. You may use the, the fair tile in any season on either side, because as the game progresses, there's going to be more fair tiles that become available. And you'll notice this one is available in summer and fall, and on the other side, it's available for fall and winter. Okay, So the number of resources differs. So as we acquire these tiles, and again, by going to this location, you'll be able to acquire tiles. These will be coming out here and be available. So as you claim them, you take them, put it into your supply, and then at the end of the respective season, so in this case, it could be summer, fall, or I can flip it over 
and score it in fall or winter. Okay? It's important to note you can only score a fair tile once per game. All right? In the season that it's pictured by having it your your personal supply of resources. So in other words, I have to have a cow and I have to have a, a orange cube. Okay? okay? If by the end of that season I cannot fulfill it, it just goes out of the game. So these three stock ones that we start with, those are only good in those respective seasons, whereas these can be used in multiple seasons. But if by the end of the season, it's not, you didn't score it, you <coughs> take it, and you discard it out of the game. Okay. okay. Because you're going to score these at the end of the game. All right? Again, you can't score the tile twice. So even though this one is available in summer and fall, if I choose to score it in summer, it's going to be worth four points and that's it. If I chose to score it in fall, that's fine, but I cannot do it in both. And I cannot do it in fall and winter. But by the end of winter, if I haven't scored it, it's out of the game. Okay, so these are stacks. When we acquire a new one, exactly. we stack them. There you go. No, no. When you acquire a new one, it's going to come over here. It doesn't have to be built. It's just available for you to score when you choose to score it. Okay. Well, everything else has a little building icon is going to be required to build to be okay. built. Okay. All right. Also important to note that if, and I'm trying to see if I have any set aside and I don't, mm, here we go. So let's say I have these two tiles in my supply over here. I've acquired them. You'll notice that if I want to score them both in fall, they both have deer on them, right? They have deer. This one has a goat, a chicken, an emerald, a ruby, etc. I cannot use the same deer for both of these. I have to have a deer for that one and a deer for that one. Okay. However, if I score this one in autumn or in fall and I score this one in winter, then I can use the same deer because it's different fares. That okay. makes sense? Yeah. Cool. Any questions on scoring fair tiles? Mm -hmm. Seems to make sense. All right. And we have the resources. <laughs> You'll get the points at the end of the game. At the end of the game, not the end of the season. Correct. So when I score it, so I will show, hey, look, I have a cow. Okay. I show, look, I have a cube and I have a cow. Hopefully I've built something to be able to hold him, but look, I have both those resources. Good. I get to keep that tile that's going to be worth two points at the end of the game. Okay. Easy enough. Right. If if I don't have both of those things, this thing's out of the game. Don't worry about it. Got it. Okay? Cool. Good. And, right. and, the, and the flipping of the of the fair tile is... That's not an action or anything. It's no, just, it's just, just look at it and yeah. say, I want to use this hey, side. Hey, I want to score it in summer or autumn, or I want to score this side in autumn, which is going to be harder. And you'll notice the resources down here that are kind of the little small resources right here. Those are what's on in addition to those mm -hmm. on the back side. And it's worth four points versus six points. Okay. That's what that is. Cool. All right. And again, I feel like I'm beating some of these up, but it's really not clear in the rule book. And I just really want to be able to stress that. All right. All right. So, at the end of the season, let me recap, okay? So, after we have all placed all of our stuff out here, you then get to lay down any if you forgot, and then you get to do all of your fair tiles for the respective season. Then, all animals now must be housed in farm buildings. So, you'll notice, if you've built a stable, every, every farm building can house four animals on it. It can only house animals that are pictured. I'm going to stress that because we need to look at the stockyard and the farmyard. I'm sorry, the farmyard and the paddock. You'll notice horses, cows, sheep, and pigs are on the farmyard. You know what they're not on? They're not on the paddock. So if you have a maximum of four animals in the farmyard and you have some extra just cows wandering around, well, the, you lose those. They, they wander off, they go back to the supply. Okay? They have to be housed at the end of the season. Okay? Four of a given type. Cool. All right. Then, each player is then going to retrieve their keeper and all of the, uh, all the keeples on their claimed uh, country tile, and they actually take the country tile as well. You're going to place your keeper and your keeples 
back onto your player board up here in the corner. But what happens if you have more than eight? And that's where we're going to be able to explain. Let's say I have all these people, all these keeples. So that looks like, to me, that looks like nine keeples at this point, okay? If you have any that are laid down here, those get added to that. You don't lose them, so you just get mo even more, okay? At that point, if it's the end of the winter, we go into final scoring. If not, then we discard any remaining country tiles that are out here. We discard these. Then at the end of the first spring season, we're going to place all of the remaining non-spring tiles into the bag, which are all these to add into the ones that are in there. And then we're going to draw more for the next season. Okay, cool. So we go into the start of the season. These are discarded. We're going to draw eight more. Then we're going to shuffle the six boat tiles, draw four of them randomly, put them out there. Now comes the cool part, at least in my opinion. So here we go. Let me show you guys what this looks like. So these country boards, all right? So you'll notice it shows on here green leaf, which represents spring. Well, we have to go in the summer. If we flip this over here, we look here. This is shows, and we'll turn it upside down, or right side up. That shows autumn and winter. Well, we need to find summer. Where's summer? Well, let's see. Um, Hold on. Let's do it this way. There we go. So where is summer? Oh, <laughs> hey, there's summer. Oh, cool. So now, now I have a decision. Do I want it like this? Do I want it like that? Do I want it like this? Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, because it's going to have different resources on it. The important thing, it must always have the season that you're going into onto it. Okay. And it is the decision of the person who claimed that. You betcha. Yeah, and the then, country. as okay. we're manipulating this, we're all hemming and hawing and whatever. Okay, I'm set. Once everyone's set, we then all reveal at the same time. Cool. Because it's possible we all end up with the same configuration. That means certain resources will not be available on a given season. All right. Because you'll notice, during this setup, at no point have we talked about gems in we saw the gems over there, right? Mm -hmm. Well, there's no gems available at the beginning of the game. So, yeah, something to be aware of, okay? All right. Can we collude between players? No, keep it to yourself. Okay, right? independent. The important thing to note, though, is these must consist of 15 different segments. So you cannot do something like this because it doesn't have, so it has to be a square. When it's all said and done, which you'll notice, those are all squares. Okay. okay. At the beginning of the setup, one meeple. Uh, there's another one out here. Where is it? Two meeples, three meeples, four meeples. That's how it has to be at the beginning of the game. Then it's carte blanche after that, as long as the appropriate season is being shown. All right? Somebody had fun designing that. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Really, yeah that, that, the folding <laughs> boards is pretty clever. Um, all right. So now, at that point, once we've all revealed all of this... If a player has more than eight keeples currently on their keep, then they choose, you know what? I'm going to take this brown one and I'm going to put them over here. And that's what dictates there. And then the brown ones, you'll see the different colors. Oh, that's going to get me a, far, a, barn, a farm animal at the end of the season, but it's only those specific animals. So you choose the eight you're going to keep and the rest go... Go onto on this tile. And keep. then when you place... Your keeper out here, mm -hmm. that's when you get to lay him down and take the extra action. Got it. Or take the uh, extra resources. I'm sorry. Okay. So the game ends after the winter season. Make sure players don't manipulate the boards because that's how they're supposed to be. Then you add up points for the following. Uh, the shipping score track. So this up here. Any farm tiles that you're going to get points for. Any uh, village tiles and the fair tiles. All the resources and keeples now can be freely allocated and manipulated between your building tiles for scoring purposes. Unlike in like Keyflower where you have to have moved them, here you can freely move them around. Resources and keeples can only be scored once. Building tiles may uh, be included in the scoring of other tiles more than once. And each building tile which scores resources or keeples can be scored a maximum of four times. It'll make sense as we get going. All completed fair tiles, including ones that are stacked up, get scored. 
and building tiles that have been built overbuilt, which I'm going to talk about building here shortly, uh, those are not scored. Okay, cool. All right. So now let's go ahead and talk about actually building. Okay, so we're going to actually zoom in on one of the uh, building tiles here. So they all have the same layout on them, and then we can get started. Uh, yeah, let's start easy. We'll go ahead and talk about this building here. So this building has a, uh, you know what, we'll do it out here, sorry. All right, it's not going to be placed out here, it's just to be able to show everybody and if somebody will be Vanna for me. So each building tile has the same layout. In the top left corner is the building icon, okay? It's either going to be a farm or a village. That shows a village, that shows a farm. The half building shows a farm, all right? If it is the background of your own player color, that means it's going to be one of your starting buildings, whereas you'll notice something like that has a white, which means it's one of the, the game buildings, all right? It also shows uh, for these, and let me put it here, it shows what season it's for. That's just for the spring tiles at the beginning of the game. Uh, it also shows the amount of victory points that it potentially will be worth. So this paddock, if you you for each different animal that's on it, you get a point. Remember, a maximum of four animals for those. Four different. Right. Four different animals. Oh, it scores for the number of different animals up to four. There but you go. The paddock right. can hold four animals. Right, but it could hold four deer. If you're only going to score one point for it. Four animals of the one right. of those types. Okay. All right. So there is a basic side, and then there is an upgraded side. Notice the upgraded side does not show any building materials because that means it's already been built. Okay. Uh, a meeple icon with the red outline meeple denotes that a keeple must be placed or laid down on the tile to activate it. All right. Um, so to be able to build buildings, it requires the amount of resources and the specific resources that are shown. So let me see, oh, and look at that. So if somebody were to place an orange keeper or a keeple on that tile, that's how you build buildings, okay? So I would be able to build how many buildings? Two. Right, and then if somebody followed with either a orange or a white, Three. three. All right, so I can build three buildings maximum, up to three. So this building would require that one brown cube resource, pretty simple. This one requires one orange upgraded resource, so one brick and one other of your choice. White means any color of your choice. The paddock allows you to build any one of your choice, okay, with a cube, I should say. Upgrading, however, which, let me zoom out a hair to show you guys this. So the upgrade building right here allows you to upgrade buildings. And how do you upgrade buildings? Flip them. Right here on your player board, and it will be easy to get confused. To upgrade, it requires, if it's a farm building, one cube uh. of your choice. If it's a village building, it's one cylinder or upgraded resource of your choice. Okay. And everything else we can pretty much cover as we go along. I mean, we have upgrades. Oh, look, it's going to be one resource cheaper. Pretty simple, right? So that's keeper. Any questions? You didn't mention boats at all. Oh, I didn't, did I? Oh, boo on me. <laughs> all right. So you'll notice everybody has a blue meeple, right? Or keeple. If you go on there, just like the blue area, you notice there are no blue areas out here on the board. If you place a blue, that is a blue bordered location. Okay. okay. So it's exactly what it looks like. When you go there, you can either acquire or, or uh, you know what? Let me double check. Hold on. I don't want to step on myself here. When you want to play on a river space or, or play on that boat, they select the boat of their choice from those that are still available. They place the boat onto the preferred river space and then place the boat uh, or their keeple on the boat tile. So notice the river spaces. 
out here. Oh. Okay. Normally it has one action on a boat. If the keeple is light blue or white, because white's wild, it matches the light blue color of the river space, and then you get two. And then remember, you can always follow and get three actions. So we'll go ahead and take one of these and put it over here. So it's your choice of resources. You can either get pigs or the brown cubes in that case. Okay? Okay. Pretty simple. I mean, it's... Um, also, you can either... Uh, I misspoke. Hold on. You can either work on the boat or sell a resource. Sorry. If you work on the boat, you receive a resource of that type depicted on the boat, right? So you could get, if there are, if you place a blue there and nobody follows, I could get two pigs, I'd get two brown resources, or one of each. Okay. Or, if I wish, I can sell a resource. Again, if it matches the color, I can sell two. And how many points would I get? The two. depicted, right. So if I sell two pigs, it's four points. One of each, it's four points, etc. Uh -huh. And then when you do so... You then peg that number of points up here, and that gets added to your final score when we go into final score. It's like you're shipping cool. them. Right? Yeah, 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 exactly. Right. I can't believe I forgot that. Boo on me. So that's it. That's the ballgame. Any do questions? We know, do we know what a typical score is in this um, game? I couldn't tell you that, no. Okay. I know uh, I want to say north of 80. Okay. All right. Um, when right. we fill up our farms or we fill up our village plots on our player board. You can overbuild. Okay. Okay, you're allowed to overbuild up to two high, meaning you can overbuild a location once. Okay. That's why you do not discard the tile. So, for instance, if I were to build here and I decide, ooh, I don't want to do that, and I overbuild it with this, I just literally overbuild it. Okay? When you upgrade these, they're worth some amount of victory points. Okay? But the one below it does not score, whether it's upgraded okay. or not. Mm. Okay. Cool. All right. Whew. Ah, like I said, it was going to be an involved teach. Gemstones. Those come out in fall and fall winter? Fall and winter, I believe, yeah. I didn't talk about it because I figured we could cover it when we, talk, when we get there. So now we need to reset everything. If you guys can help, we need to figure out everyone's resources. one white meeple. Okay, good. So I guess the rest are mine? Yep. Cool. All right. Okay, then. Nice and smooth. Yeah. <laughs> and then All you... Right. Cool. Uh, I'll bring up chat. I'll bring up the cameras. You moved your spring fair somewhere. Yeah. You have a summer fair. Let me there. see. Let me turn those back over. Um, what did I do with it? New... Yeah, and put all the resources mm -hmm. back, if you would, please. What do the pavement and the drainage ditch do? Oh, it's for scoring. It's exactly what they look like in the rule book. You can actually, all the, every single building is listed in there. Mm -hmm. There you go. Um, it's, thank you. It's for adjacency for building. Either orthogonal or diagonal. There you go. Got right. it. Pretty simple. Okay. All right. All right. Place your bets now, y'all. Woo! Not the smoothest I've ever done. And I think you're still missing one right. Uh, it's oh, yeah. it's out here. Those Hold two on. right there. All right. So these come back. That goes there. Perfect. And there and there. And there's a, uh, one other thing I wanted to double check on is I believe you can do multiples. You, I don't think it's just one. I believe you can upgrade as many as you want or convert as many resources as you want on a given action. Uh, let me double check that real quick. Um, nope, one log into one wood. If the carpenter has been upgraded, then the carpenter can convert one log into two wood. So nope, I spoke right. It's one for one to one, meaning right here, if that's manned, notice the little meeple on it. One cube turns into, so one log into one wood. It can't do be like five into five. Okay. Cool. All right. Yeah, did you remember? I didn't mention point. what grain is, is for, but it's going to be, um... oh, grain's a wild resource. Thank you, E. Good call. Yes. Wild, it can be, smaller wild. It can thing. be used for a basic or refined resource. Yeah. Okay. But only if it's a white. Okay. Good catch, guys. Wow. Boy. Uh, there's, there's a lot here. Yeah. The game ends at the end of the fourth season. Okay. At the end of winter. It. End of okay. winter. Yep. So uh, here we go. So Get rid of that last fair, too. 
I'm gonna try. Keep trying to keep it. I'm trying to cheat, I, I'm to cheat man. <laughs> um, all right. So everybody, give me one of your discs. Oh, and uh, they're asking for the over under for Glory to Rome. Ah, this one's not too bad. So I'm only gonna go one and a half for over and under on that. Okay. First, and then clockwise from there. There we go. I'm first. Seems appropriate, I guess. And it sounds like a lot, but it's really intuitive. He actually did a really good job of this. So just to reiterate, these tiles here are mats. These are the ones that are out there for to be able to be claimed through these locations out here. And as you can see, we didn't have room for the for my player board, so you guys are going to play along with me um, as need be. Okay. So what I would recommend as a maybe how to start. Take a look at your spring tile, mm -hmm. right? So yeah. mine, it's a cow and an orange resource. Okay, might not be a bad idea. Just, you know, keep that in the back of your head. So, you know what? Let's find some... <laughs> so, I'm so that time not doing that for all these animals. Is, all right. I thought, well, you are a farmer now, right? Rancher. So, um, you know what? Let's go ahead and go out here. So, first action... I'm going to place a green meeple into a green bordered location, which means I'm going to get two cows minimum. Adrian, do you want to join? You know, I think I will. All right, so three cows each. Pretty simple. Boom, done. Adrian, your turn. All right, uh, I have not planned that far ahead. <laughs> <laughs> and now, also, when you place your cows, they can just be out here wandering. No harm, no foul but they better have a home by the end of the season or you're going to lose them, okay? Once everybody's asleep, the cows wander off. Yeah. Right, and, and, and for you, the cow shed stores four cows, right? For everybody. Every green tile yeah, yeah, scores but I mean, four. But now that or you not have cows, scores, yeah. can house four yes, animals, yes. but only of the pictured type. Gotcha. All right. So the paddock and the farmyard are any kind of animals, and these are specific to what you're storing. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so mer, I, maybe I wasn't crystal clear on that. Boats are and or and not either or. So as long as you don't get and sell the same resource, all can, right? And can you get one of one resource and then sell the uh, the opposite resource? So like, could I t could take a horse and sell? Or you, you can't. No, you, you, can, you can't get the horse and then sell it. But you right. could take a horse and then sell a stone cube. Perfect. Sure, absolutely. If you had two actions on that tile. Right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm going to go chop some wood over here. All right. Because so if I'm going to build a shed, I need some wood. Right. Mike, you following? Remember, your whites are wild. I would... Uh, and Mur, Mur also said yes. that for market fairs, you don't store the animals before. I think I covered the order in which okay. that happened. Did you hand me three but as well? to clarify that, I good call. I'd be happy to. Man, Thank I'm you. disappointed in that. I thought it went real well. Yeah, it was not my best. That's all right. There's a lot of game here. Yeah, that's all right. Spent enough hours prepping for it. I should, <laughs> should have been smooth. All right, so you guys got your cubes? Good. Yep. Done. Mike? All right, so I'm worried a little. I'm going to worry on the balance a little. So there's two meeps there, two yeah. meeps there. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not get too far out of whack here, shall we? Uh, I need sheep. Would you like to join me, Matt? Interesting. It's sheep, so um, exercise discretion. I, I'm not going to join him on mm. sheep. Um, Scared you off, huh? Hold on. I'm actually going to look at my summer tile and see if I need sheep. I really don't. So I like to not follow mm -hmm. or I'll, join, as it were. I will also not. Remember, you, you do have green or you do have white. Wild, like which, yes. Green. Okay, cool. So by yourself, so that's two so sheep. So I get them both to myself? You okay. do. Hey, <laughs> what you do with your sheep in your <laughs> on your own farm is your business, I guess. There you go. And, and really, just, just to think this out, if now on my turn I really did want sheep, I could go there and I would get three sheep. If two you laid down three. two or three. If I laid his down. Correct. Right? Yes. Which, which, which essentially had denied him an extra sheep. Right. It, you know, that's something I've never even thought of, but yes, okay. well, well played. And it would already lay one down so that later there's, it's there's a less, less one for yes. somebody else to lay Whoever down. Whoever gets yeah. that, that's yeah. one. But remember, you may not get a lot of laid down actions. Mm -hmm. You're guaranteed to get one as long as you're not the last one to place a meeple. But I'm a Care Bear when we play these games, so that's yeah, not sure. why I did right. that. So I'm going uh, <laughs> to go over here to the swine. Okay. 
Um, I dig on some swine. I like me some bacon. So that would be three each. That will be three each, sir. So one, two, three. Sweet. Right. Well, all right. So it looks like I'm going heavy farm early. It looks like. So with that said, so let's see. I have cows and sheep, and I need either of those to be able to build. So that means I'm looking at. I need some cubes. So let's go get some cubes. So. Let's go ahead and start out. I will go ahead, I will go there. That's uh, for the, whatever the basic stone is. Stone. Adrian, you wanna come join? And then hmm. this is any resource, right? Yes, if it's, if if it's, it's white. white, correct. I'm going to pass on that. I don't okay. think I need stone. Stone. Three stone each, please, Mike. Adrian, you're up. I'm going to take... Thanks, Rob. My little builder guy. Okay. And... He, well, he's carrying a trowel, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. A little masonry trowel yep. there. And the rabbi. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, I... Is... Man. So not... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Philip. Phil, <laughs> Philip is the rabbi of the herd, right? So. That's really funny. Um, I'm going to jump... I'm actually going to go over here. And I'm going to build at a discount. Okay, so now you're only building. Oh, no, because no, that doesn't have a border on the discounted. It's board. only one. But if somebody joined you, it would be two builds. It would be two builds. Okay. Mm. Yeah, very, very astute. The fact that it's not bordered. Yeah, well, we'll see if somebody's yeah, interested with it. in building. All right, cool. Oh, yeah. That's All right, I was so you each get to build two. Oh, and one other thing that I did not cover. If whenever somebody comes to buy or not by, to acquire tiles. If they have somebody that follows with them, whoever starts takes the first and last one, meaning it goes one, two, three, one, okay. or four. <coughs> so they get first and last choice. Okay. And then the person that joined them gets the second and third choice. And that okay. space allows you to acquire the plans, right, which go to, over here exactly. to build, yep, and then exactly. you go over there to actually yep. build it. Okay. Okay. And, and, and because it's discounted, if it only costs one, it's I uh, I need to double check that for the discount. Yeah, because that might actually change my mind. If my discount's not going to reduce some to zero. I, that's actually, I'm really glad you pointed that out early. I meant to ask that during the teach and I spaced uh, it. It's either one uh, or, but if it only costs one. Mm -hmm. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. Give me a minute. Right there. Uh, number three... Um, looking. It's the actual, uh, if somebody in the peanut gallery knows it, feel free to chime in, guys. It's right there. It's number two there. A discount field bit. Da, da, um, Cannot find it. I know it's in here. Um, <laughs> farm type there. Uh, there is no requirement. Build, uh, build cannot be. Re you can't move them. Obviously, once you built them. Um, I cannot find it. Hold on one second, guys. Go ahead and look it up. Now. I got to get him out of here. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm not seeing it under this. Let's see if you see it. I'm building tiles there. Oh. Oh. That's good to know. That is. Days on the tile. Directly on the plan tiles. That's here.
page 13, top of second column, there's always a minimum cost of one resource unless using the farm laborer tile. Yep, right there. Okay, and the farm laborer is which one? It must be one that comes out. You get it? Right here, farm yeah. laborer. It's a minimum okay. of one. Yeah. Yep. yep. Okay. And then you just count us on the okay. Good. Stream. Unless you're using the farm laborer tile. Yes. Well then, um, I might change. Sorry that. about that, guys. Had to address a very whiny dog. Mm -hmm. Right. So, all right. So we're here. Maybe. Yeah. Yep. All right. So it's a minimum of one. So the discount doesn't really help. Yeah. If you're going to so do so then it would be far. better, I think, to jump to the actual just building. Which yeah. There. Uh, there. there. Yeah. 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 Yep. Which I'll do it over okay. here on this cool. one. Nope, doesn't it doesn't have I one. knew it was in there. I just couldn't find it. So I didn't want to answer that. until I we'll could prove build it. That. Yep. Still following. All, All right. right. So that's three builds then that we can do. There you go. So Paying full price. Correct. Uh, well, I will definitely be building a cow shed. Because okay. these guys need a home. Okay. Always nice. Uh, three, huh? And you guys can build at the same time. You don't have to wait. I'm going to build a paddock, a farmyard, and a sheep shelter. And burn up the three logs. Okay, cool. In so doing. I don't think it really matters adjacency for your farm tiles. I don't think there's anything in there that messes with that, but I could be wrong. Yeah. Okay. Can you Come use improved resources for basic? Yeah, do they backwards? I believe they can be, okay. yeah. And what do I need down here? So, what is this thing underneath the horse? That would be a gold nugget. That's gold nugget. That would nugget. be, i.e., the yellow gems. Got it. That's gold. So, that's there not a go. topaz. That's gold. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There is no topaz in Keeper. Correct. All right, then. Actually, this will be good because uh, we use this to remind ourselves for the end of season stuff, but we still okay. get a while. But So you can backwards compatible? Yeah. Okay. Oh, appreciate that, Michael. Thank you. Yeah, Age of Steam yesterday, I, I appreciated uh, um, the uh, butt whooping that Mike gave us and yesterday. Use. And Mur, yeah, Mur says there's no adjacency stuff for the farm tile, so just follow your heart on that. Just okay. make it pretty for so you. So that's buying the plans, right? That's buying the plans. Mm -hmm. Don't say buying because you just Acquiring. take. Yeah. Yes. So do you wish to follow, sir? And here, I mean, I, I feel like they're pretty self-explanatory, but we can go through them real quick if you guys need. So we have the trading post. And I, I say that, but now I'm paranoid, so I'm actually going to look them up. One cube to two cubes, one cylinder to two cylinders. Apparently. There you go, of your choice. And notice the different color, so it could be any to any. One cube to two wheat, the farm laborer, it's a discount of one. Um, or dis, it, it, it's a, yeah. It, it's a straight up discount, right. no minimum. The goat pen, that's how you can, and notice two points, and notice on the back side, Three points per goat, so a maximum of 12 points for every uh, farm building you have out there. And then these for the shipping agents and seafarer and the dock. The dock, uh, it'll give you an additional six points at the end of the game if you've scored at least 20 points in shipping during the game. Okay. The seafarer is every time... Uh, you play on a boat tile, including as a joiner, you score one point. On the other side, it's two points. Uh, these points are recorded immediately, and in addition, the upgraded seafarer tile is worth three points at the end of the game. And then the shipping agent, that one, is when the owner of the shipping agent tile sells two resources to a boat, they receive one extra point. And if it's upgraded, it's... Uh, they get an additional point for every resource that they sell instead so of every two. two it's yeah. And then three on the top of it, apparently. Yep. 
Okay, cool. Oh, that's funny. Mur arranges as green farm tiles by smell intensity. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, so I'll follow. All right. Oh, if you didn't, I was. So All right, cool. So, Mike, you take the first. Matt takes the second and third. You take the fourth. Okay. Let's take this farm laborer. Okay. I'll take the shipping agent. And the oh, farm laborer uh, allows the building tile to be built at no cost. And if it's been upgraded, it can be used to build or upgrade any farm building at no cost. The upgraded tile is worth three points, but note that it does need to be manned. Okay. And what then, does that mean? Does need to be manned? Meaning you have to play a worker onto it, a keeple, to use the building. To, to build something. So it's, okay, so it's the, it's the action of playing the keeple onto the farm laborer yes. that builds the building. Yes, yeah. exactly. And, okay. no and you can build over it Okay. if you want once. As obviously. opposed to the shipping agent where that just... Happens. There you go, right? Every time. Okay. There you go. And now cool. I pick again, right? So I pick second and the third. Rajur, uh, no, it does not. Okay. Yep, you pick second and third. <sighs> okay. So. Uh, let's oh. do the... Let's do the training post. Okay, cool. And another? Or, no, oh, I picked you took the shipping, shipping agent. agent. All right, so Mike. And remember, these Actually, refill at the end of the season. I'm going to change my mind if you don't mind. Well, I, 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 I'm not the one choosing it. I don't mind at all. Is sure, that your let's, final answer? Let's do all right, this. Good. All right, done. So that was Mike. Yeah, okay. Go. Um, I'm going to get... I'm going to do some... Right. I feel like it's been an hour since stone I... Stone on this one. So that stone is... I elect not to, to pass, or I'm passing. Ah, uh, stone, 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 stone. Yeah, yeah I'll follow on stone. Okay. Three each. I will go get some logs. It's a fun toy. Log, log. Okay. Um, I'll come along for some All right. logs. So three logs each, please. And Adrian, you're up. Thank you. Peace limited on resources? I knew you were going to ask that, and I'm in the process of looking it up. All right, you know what? Mur, you can answer it. <laughs> <laughs> um, when do you execute the fare? You just show it? That, is that a, that's an action? End of the season. It's only yeah, at the end of the season. season. I, I, I yep. will let yep. you know. Perfect. Um, when do farm score? Do they score every season also, or just at the end of the game? They're, the only thing that you're going to be scoring during the game. Okay. Okay. And not even fares are you scoring. You're just qualifying them, and then you will get the points at the end of the game. Okay. Okay. All right. Well then. Hmm. It, it's, okay. it's me. I just want to make sure we're my turn. Yeah. Tanking here. I will... So, when I do my sailor, do I, I pick you, one you, and then you I pick, pick one, one of them exactly. they go to? Exactly. Yep. Exactly that. Yep. And remember, wheat can be substituted for any white good, but not a gem. Yeah. Yes, a finished good can always be used as I'll a raw a material. One, please. Uh, sea breeze. Sea breeze. Yeah. All resources are limited. If if two people are obtaining resources on the same turn, it's oh, likely to run out. When the player whose turn it is takes a resource first, then the player joining takes a resource, and then they alternate. Keep going. A player does not receive anything in compensation if there are insufficient resources, and you can't trade. All right, the end. There, I think that should cover all the questions. Do I get to follow yeah, that? Do, do we join on the? Of course. On the board? Why wouldn't you? Okay. Yeah. Let's do that. So then I get a third. So I'll take an orange cube. 
Okay. okay so, so you sold two cows and took an orange and cube. took an orange yep. cube. Okay. Cool. I'm going so to you got your four points. Yep. yep. You pegged them. Good. All right. Cool. I'm going to take two orange cubes and a cow, please. All right, Mike. So I see what's happening here. Because these double up, as you put out your keeper, you're going to have to focus on particular professions, you know, compared to other cards. Yeah, you're it's crazy. <laughs> so where's your little challenge coin? I need it. Thank you. So we have six over there, five, four, four. All right. Just doesn't matter how many. Just, oh, matters, oh, hold on. You're going to be able to do that this turn, this season, but once all these are different, good luck trying to do that because it's going to be specific actions that you're going to want to be able to take. Right. Because if you notice, there is one goat and there is one chicken out on the board. So if you want either of those, you're going to go to a specific board. Yep. Uh, I'm going to stick on my plan here and put a generic worker on this discount building tile. Would you like to come build? I would, indeed. All right. So if you place a white? If I place a white. Right. So it's just you're matching the color. That's fine. Yeah. Then we're building twice. Two. Yep. There you go. All right. So it's going to be the trading post. So since the whites are wild, he has to follow with another wild. He can't just follow with any color? You guys keep asking sorry, these edge sorry. cases. It's <laughs> uh, uh, actually a really good question. I should have prepared for that one. And it's going to be this cylinder, because we get a discount of one. And I cannot build that. Okay, actually, here. If it had a border, it could be matched with the color that the actual border is. Okay. Um, in this case, there's no border on that location, meaning it must be a white keeple. Okay. Okay. Or a uh, keep, yeah, keeple. All right, cool. Yeah. Yep. Where's on point? Yep. Okay. So I'm building the farmyard. Okay, so there's one. Right, and yep. the shipping agent. Okay, done. And that goes. Well, you, you better choose wisely. If you plan on building either of those. Okay, explain those again then. They just... Uh, it's adjacency. They're going to score for every building that's adjacent in the given direction. Oh, so you would put that in the middle potentially to well, get the best. Yeah. I would hope so oh, for your sake, diagonal. but okay. yeah, so plan accordingly. All right. And that's only the buildings, right? Mm-hmm. Does the... Drainage count as a building for the pavement. So if you build uh, oh, and gaps are allowed. By the way, with the uh, drainage building, um, meaning if you place it, say here, and there's a g gap and it's built there, that's okay. Okay. Hmm. All right. Um, for each village tile positioned diagonally from the drainage tile, and gaps are allowed. And they count for each other. Sure. Okay. If 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 they're positioned correctly. And gaps are allowed for pavement as well. Okay. I see them being right there. Okay. Cool. Okay. And so, so it's your turn, so now yeah. it's my turn. Uh -huh. Yes. Um, so I want to go shipping. Well, hold on, hold on. You have to place one of yes, the tiles I first. I would like the key flower. Hmm. And actually, I'm going to do it over. Ooh, tough one. Yeah. Uh, I will follow. Will I? No, I won't. Nope, not following. Okay. So I can do two then, right? Yeah. Well, hold on. Adrian. Oh, Adrian. Sorry. Yeah, you're right. You're right. And say what you did about, say, so I moved on to the chicken one. You said there's only one chicken. Yeah. So look how many chickens are out there. Right. That's it. So by controlling this country, you can... No. Just okay. if you want chickens, okay. you're going okay. to go yeah. there. Gotcha. If you want goats, 
Uh, I haven't found where they are, but there's only one of it. There you go. Trust You're me. going to go Nobody wants there. goats. <laughs> All right, cool. Take your actions. Okay. So I'm going to get... Uh, this is legal. To sell two pigs. Sure. Why wouldn't it be? So the white matches any color. Yep. Yeah. That's wild. I'm right. going to sell two pigs and gain a wood. I'm going to sell one wood and gain two pigs. Okay. Get your points according to two pigs. It's going to be four points. Okay. There you go. I'll take the three wilds. Done? Yeah. Mike? Uh-huh. Now we don't have to. Yeah, and that's my biggest gripe, Mur. So, uh, Richard Breeze said the same thing, I'm not exaggerating, three or four different times. He So, it makes for a very convoluted rule book because you're reading the same thing, but it's worded differently three and four different times. So Yeah, I noticed that even in the key flower rule book yeah, that happened a fair amount. I, I do wish that he would he would bring on somebody that is a professional rules writer. Okay, my turn. Uh, well, I'm not in a hurry to do that now. Well, you know what tower you're getting. Yep. Um, okay, I'm going to do orange and get orange resource. Pumpkins, I guess. Uh, Is that right? No, that, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, yeah, uh, I'll go ahead and follow. Yeah, it's clay for bricks. It gets okay. fired into brick, yeah. So, three. Yep. Three. All right, so it's back to me. You guys yep. haven't seen, right? Yeah, yeah it's your turn. Was, okay. Yep. All right, so that's where we're. That's what we're looking at. Oh, I guess I could actually bring everything up here too as well. Now that everything's out of the way. There we go. Um, cool. So we need to actually build these guys before we start going through too many workers. So I need to be able to build. A couple of buildings so where do we want to build ideally we build over here oh hey look at that I shall yeah I'm okay with that oh wrong Ooh, wrong wrong thing that's gaining resources yeah, oh the build's already build taken uh, might I suggest this lovely game. right or actually this country has a nice building square uh, I really hate the idea of take, giving up the whites now, but um, do I forego sh You know what? Nobody... Okay, so Mike has a white, and you have a white, Matt. You would be inclined to follow if you want to build. Uh... So here's what I'm debating is which one do I use? I don't mind getting rid of my blue, but the problem is it doesn't match. And the uh, Adrian can't follow, but Mike and Matt can. So what I'm debating is whether or not I think they'll follow. And I think Matt might because it also uses up his white and it claims it on his tile. So that would make sense if he did that. But I have three wild, so I'm not going to take the chance. I will actually go there. Adrian, do you wish to follow? I do you can't, actually, right? Yeah. So, Mike, do you? And I just build. And while he's thinking about that, um, because I have the shipping agent, when I ship those two pigs, I should get an extra point, right? Pass. Oh, um, yeah, I was going to do that anyway. All right, so we each get three builds, so I'll start with mine here. So that's going to be there. That is going to be there. And what are these? So we're good for both of those. So what do we want to build? Um... Since we have the, you know what, let's just go ahead and get some sheep out here as well. And that'll be one of anything, so we'll go ahead and take the orange. So there's my three resources to build those three. Cool, done. Matt, what are you building? I'm going to build go, a brick maker and a, now the scrapyard is just any two resources into a, um, 
Actually, I'll refined the, good. Yeah, yeah, I'll use the orange for that. Um, and lastly, I'm going Go to do them. a stable. Uh, that's out. Brickmaker. And the scrapyard. And then the Hadrian makes it my turn. It does. And I don't think I need to be converting goods just yet. But we still got out there. Yeah, um, that's why I'm okay. looking up to get the verbiage. I uh, think I will reserve one of those tiles. Pass. Which, what did you do? I'm uh, reserving tiles. Okay. Um, to, I think Edward's the only one who can follow me. Well, Where are you? Sorry? Oh, because I have to follow color, With the right? color, yeah. Uh, reserving tiles. And, nah, I'm not following. I'm good. Thanks. Brown, black, blue, nothing. Okay, I'm going here and collecting two grain. And nobody nobody's can follow following. Yeah. Nobody two can. Grain, two grain, please. Well, so I've oh, because oh, it's so for following purposes, it's green, not white, right? But yes. you could because it's white. in the yeah. boxed one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And the grain are a wild card for it? advanced resources. Yeah. Basic or advanced? Or, yeah, as long as it's yeah. listed as white somewhere. So you can use it to build the buildings that have white cube. Gotcha. But you can't use it to build right. like, the pigs. And, that's something, parts. and to clarify what Murr is saying, that if you want, I could just go here to build if I want, stand him up and build with any tile, but it's only one and nobody gets the follow. Yeah. Okay, and you spend the resource. So that's in. If, if you're desperate to build and there's nothing available spot-wise. All right, so where are we, guys? Uh, it's my turn. And yep. I'm going to... Actually, I'm going to declare this country at this point. Okay, all right, so back to me. Black and blue, horses and sheep. I have none of them. So for a black, I could gain a resource. Not really super exciting. Uh, but I will go ahead, I'll take a sheep, and it looks like nobody's following, so I will take a sheep, done. So that's a black meeple on a green space? So yes. Worth so it's, I get worth one money. resource. Yep. Adrian, you're up. I go. Well, let's see that. So, okay, so you have no people? Yeah. So I can, and, lay, I or can no start people. laying people Yes, down. in fact, that is your what action. What I can, yeah. Correct. I will. Oh. What do we got? That's a pig. You can I'm, only lay down on your tile. Oh. Oh. I missed that. So, choose. Well, this is unfortunate. <laughs> I will uh, lay these two down and take two brown. Three. Three brown, yes. Yeah. Mike, you're up. And now I'm going to lay people down on my tile. Correct. One or two, but it's one field specifically. Yep. Do I want three cattle? I have planned poorly. Building... I'm going to lay these two down. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's first turn on the first game. That's Is right. that three or two? What do you think it would be? Oh, it, it would be two executions of the ship. Three. If it matches the border, that's two. If it has a joiner, that's three. That's yeah. three. So three executions of that ship. Correct. So get three pigs, three brown resources, sell them however you want. It. Well, you're not selling anything because you don't have it. So up to you. Yep. And you have no place to store your pigs. I have a farmyard. 
Oh, you do. Okay. So, so. I can store yep. one pig. So that's one pig and two brown cubes then. Sure. There's a chance, Michael. One pig, please. <laughs> so one pig. Got it. Sweet. One thing there. There'll be no joiners. Correct. So I'm just going to get two wood. Yeah, turn two wood into you, Yeah, yeah, wood. yeah. Hold on. Oh, I did that backwards then. Sorry. Oh, that's turning it into a complex. So I Correct. can't do that. So I'm not going to. So I'll just go there. Get one wheat. Yep. Thank you. Okay. All right. So I am the last one that has any keeple or keepers. So I am going to play my last one right here. And mm -hmm. at this point, I have one sheep. I could keep him or I could sell. Eh, eh. Um, points are points, right? Or we could do something else. Wow. Now, I could place on y'all's boards if I wish, but I like not to. Um, do I want any of these tiles? Getting goats? Mm. Nature's lawnmower. Now, we'll go ahead and put the, uh, the sheep up there. Yep. The sea bastion. Yep. Nobody is going to follow, so I will go ahead and sell my sheep. And I will sell one orange for a total of four points. Boom. Done. And we each get one lay down, actually. Yes. In turn order. Correct. <sighs> I think all correct. You you could nobody has this, but if you had a meeple on your player uh, board, three stone, please, Gray. You you could lay down on your player board as well, or in in lieu of your country board. So I could build three times. Oh, I see. I could indeed build three times. Yeah, Michael, it's not going to happen anytime soon, a live stream of a coin game. We'd have to get fluent enough in the game to be comfortable to stream it. So I would say the summer would be the very earliest, and even then we're probably unlikely. Um, but we'll see. Never say, never, you know, I won't say it won't happen. It's just not anytime soon. Okay, so I'm going to do this and take three builds. Okay, go ahead. So here's a brick maker which costs one of these, and it's a white cylinder, yep. so I discard a grain. Okay, so there's one. There's one. I'm gonna build the farm laborer. Okay. So for one yep. brown cube, and the pigsty for one gray cube. All right, cool. The wheat, put the wheat up. And Matt, go ahead. There's no penalty for having nope. extra things. So nope. I'm going to lay these two down and grab oh. three. Yep. Uh, no, yep. you'll grab two. two of them. Two, sorry. Oh, because it's not yes. order. So we're going to leave the goat pens because goats are nasty. And we're going to do that. All right. So now we're done. Nobody has any anybody who forgot to lay down because it's the end of spring so we don't need to worry about that so now we go into spring tile so i'll start with mine to show folks here we go i have a cow i have an orange cube cool i get to keep it boom done i've got a cow and i've got a plenty of brown cubes okay sheep and a gray cube pig and a gray cube all right cool congrats everybody did it done now, everybody has to house their animals. So, I kept mine off so you guys could see. So, you can house up to four of a, the pictured type. I'm good to go. Cool. Yep. Everyone already has their stuff. All right. Cool. Good to go. Now, everybody grabs their respective board and all your dudes on it and put it up here into the corner. Very sad. So, you came out ahead on Meeps. Yep. Significantly ahead. Do we, to, do we uh, suspect that's a good thing? I'm down to only six meeps. I'm not <sighs> sure yet. I don't I know. Think, I'm, I'm not sure. I think it gives you more flexibility and extra resources. So if you, it, it seems like it would be unlikely to happen. But if you had laid down all of the meeples on your board and the other board, then you could go on to somebody else's okay. board. But the, the ships go back. We'll get there. Oh, okay. 
So, it's not the end of winter. All right, so, out of the game. Okay, so now what's going to happen is we have our bag. Somebody hold that open, please. All the extra tiles that aren't spring tiles now join with the spring tiles. Go ahead and mix them up. And dry ignorance. And now we go into, now technically it's the start of the season. Okay, so now we draw eight new ones. I'm sorry. Help. No. Five, six, seven. And wow. No farm okay. tiles so far. No, and no, uh, I'm sure it's not on the upgrade. Wow. Okay. All right. So first things first, we're going to go over what these are, guys. Okay. Okay. All right. So the goldsmith, if you have two, whatever the blue is, two, two blue or Sapphires. a blue gem, a sapphire and a gold, Combinations were four points. The upgraded also includes emeralds. Okay. Then let's do it this way. There. So, gem merchant is very similar. Okay. The scrap dealer. Uh, you know what? I don't want to guess. We'll just look them up. Yeah. Because, like, the cows, if you have, it's cow, each cow is worth All one. Right. So, the alchemist here, fellas. Yep. Is uh, converts any two raw materials of any type into one gem of any right. type, and it's worth three points. Okay, so that's going to be these three covered now. Uh, Brickyard's pretty self-explanatory. I feel like every upgraded resource of that color, so that'd be bricks. Um, the scrap dealer is... This is fascinating TV here. <laughs> uh, the, you score one point for every two of the following resources allocated to the scrap dealer at the end of the game. Remember, you can allocate resources at will. Then we have the kiln. Oh, the gem jewel cutter is pretty self-explanatory. Take one stone into a jewel of your choice. So we have the kiln and the statue still to go over. The kiln, two points for every orange bordered field that's on the country board that player claimed at the end of winter. That's why you don't change... The board at the end of winter okay and then the statue is one victory point for every home village not farm tile they built in their village if the statue is upgraded it's worth two points all right cool done all right so first things first we've gone over these shuffle up the six river tiles Okay, put four of them out, two of them go away, and then, then figure out your country board. Make sure that summer is shown, but don't reveal it yet. So you folks can play along with me. This is how it was. So we need to find the summer. Okay, there's summer. So our options for this are that, that. that or flip it over and it's that do they all need to face the same way nope okay. they won't all the only thing that matters is that summer is showing that's it and it has to be 15 locations i kind of like the idea here and here um i think i will go with that there we go i've chosen I all right I've chosen done real poorly I'm just going to read it. That was yes. terrible in a Rubik's Cube. Has to be square when you're done. We have three more seasons to go, fellas. Everyone <laughs> does. Hold on. Don't. don't I don't want to see it yet. Not until Mike's done. Let's go with this. Yep, Adrian. Go with this. All right. Yep. So here, just put it down out here. It doesn't matter the order or anything like that. So it looks like uh, all of them are different. That's unlikely. Cool. All right. So all of them have the summer showing. So good to go. And they're all different. All right. That's exciting. Unlikely. First time I've seen that. Cool. Good deal. All right. So we have that. Now, um, 
If you have more than eight keeples, so if you look, I have eight. Adrian doesn't have that problem with five. How many do you have, Mike? Seven. All right. Do me a favor. Put four on top or four on the... There's. You see the silhouettes underneath? So the folks at home. So yeah, you I get to 11. keep eight of them. Okay. So three of them go onto your keep tile. Jeez. Onto this. And ostensibly to get that... Those whatever resources. whatever yeah. the resources are, depending on the color, correct. And I I was the last one to place a keeple. So you'll go first. So I go first. There you go. You guys have seen it. Does this make sense now? Yeah. Flip better, flop better. Yeah, obviously, Friday. <laughs> exactly. All right. Oof. I feel like this oh, is that's interesting, part. Scott. Spots. Eight. I know, but there's nine little. Because your your keeple, or your keeper, it doesn't actually go oh. there. It's just showing. Gotcha. Right. Okay, uh, fair enough. I figured since there's a space. Yeah, going. that. Yeah, well, plus the camera. Okay, so you've chosen. Uh, so put the black I up have... top and the brown towards yep. the bottom. There you go. That's so okay. so folks will be able to see. So when you place your keeple, or your keeper. Your obligation is to remember to lay them down and get those resources. If not, we do it at the end of the season. Okay. Cool. Everybody, is this making sense to everybody yeah, here? Sure it is. How about you all at home for those after I butchered the teach? All right. So here we go. What do we want? I have no idea. So I have... Eh. All right. So I have three wilds. That's going to come in handy. Um, I, I'm really surprised that there there was no farm buildings that came out here. Yeah. So jewels potentially are worth a lot of points. Um, again, I don't have a ton of experience, but just FYI. So I think to start off, I will go ahead and acquire some buildings. So it doesn't matter the color. I have a fair number of gray cubes, so I'm going to place a gray worker, and this way I don't have to reach. I'll put them there. So I'm going to get one gray building unless somebody chooses to join me. Yeah, I've got a couple gray ones, and I don't think they're going to be super. Oh, I guess either. these two are mirrors of each other. Okay, yeah, cool. Ours right. are. Oh, okay, cool. The side ones aren't, but yeah, yeah. All right, I'll so we get to choose two each. Yeah. So I will go ahead. Well, that's what's. <sighs> <sucks. I'm... laughs> I don't have gray people. Um, but you have white. I do. So you have gray people. I don't have green people. Um, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and take the alchemist to start. Dirty yeah. dog. That's so, pretty sick. Okay. So you choose two now, sir? Uh, could you? I'm definitely taking the goldsmith. Okay. Uh, could you explain the statue to me again one sure. more time? Sure. Uh, you get a point for every building in your village. Oh. Okay. That's why it's the four player colors. And notice the full building. I realize uh, okay. that now. Okay. And they're worth two points if you've upgraded it. Okay. Okay. And then does it become worth up for upgraded buildings are worth two? Mm -hmm. okay. No. Hmm. That's a good question. Okay. Let me look that up again. That yep. In the statue. Yeah, it's impossible for me to keep all these memorized, guys. So sorry about yeah. that. I'm taking uh, two points for every upgraded home village tile. Home village tile, meaning your own color, not village tile. So, for instance, these wouldn't count. Okay. Okay. Which one is upgraded home village tile? The so. flip side of statue. Flip side of statue, got it. Yeah, so okay. statue is home tile, oh. and then the and other that's side is also true home for these. Yes. Correct. Interesting. Um, huh? Let me see it again. In other words, the the pavement and the drainage. So I've goofed up by sticking. No, that. not no. That, does it say that? Well, I don't. Oh, I don't believe well, maybe so. they're just the color. I got you. Okay, you're right. The, see the, the statue. Yep, is yep. colored in. I'm with you. Yeah. All right. So the scrap dealer. I wanted to look up again. Uh, one point for every two of the following resources allocated to the. Oh, so it's leftover resources at the end of the game. Eek. Um. Wait, the... 
Oh, hold on. There. That's what oh, it was on its Yeah, it shouldn't side. have been. Did you want to... Does that change what you uh, wanted to do? I don't think so. It's six and one half dozen of the other. Yeah, exactly, at this point. Um, you know what? Yeah, I'll take it. Done. All right. Adrian, go. Ooh. Upgrading is free. Right? It's really not complicated, Dave. No, it costs any lower resource or oh, any upper you. resource. Gotcha. And wheat counts for lower resources, but not upper. It counts for upper. It counts for both white resources. I'm getting two cows. Would anybody else like some cows? Pass. That. Um, I am going to. Because you need to look at what river tiles came out. Yeah. Boat tiles. I'm oh sure yes. Uh, a green it would cost me a white. I'm gonna pass. I right. will go ahead and get in on. You know what? I have wilds. I guess it's six and one half dozen of the other, isn't it? So yeah. I'll take three cows as well. Done. <sighs> Mike? Yep. Scott, where are you seeing the exceptions? I really don't think there are any, to be honest. It's just matching up colors. With the borders. Yeah. That's really all it is. It's, it's These guys here, you put any color keeple on a home tile yep. and it executes one time. Yep. You lay it down, executes one more time. You yeah. add a second keeple onto it, it that, that's the only way you're going to get a joiner onto a home action. Two separate actions. Okay. Same color, unless it's a wild. Gotcha. All right. It's really not complicated, and that's that. Yeah, um, it's really not. I by the end of this season, everyone should be humming along. Matt. Yep. Is that yeah? That's wood, right? Yep. Oh. Switch. Well, it's clay. So. This is. The, Look at the iconography. He's a spade. Ah, not what I was thinking. Notice, here, take a look over here, Mike. Yep. Let's do it anyway. Dig and clay. Okay. Three clay each. Matt, your turn. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. I am going to do the sea breeze. Where are you putting it? Um, I'm gonna throw it over here where there's nobody yet, and that's oh, actually is that clay or wood? Clay. I'm having clay. a hard time to clay. 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 The wood is the look, dark look, brown. Look at the very dark brown. Oh, yeah. fair enough. Okay, okay. Um, so I'm gonna ship. Um, I can ship up to three now, right? Yep. Correct. Mm -hmm. Three clay. Six uh, points, which gets me oh, plus uh, your bonus. Plus my bonus, so seven points. So five and seven is twelve. Uh, I will go ahead and ship off these two cows to the slaughter, and I will get an orange cube, so it's going to be four points total for eight. And, and you're my up. turn. Yep. We need to upgrade, so uh, brown or orange. And looking at this, actually, I don't think I actually need to, do I? I want to be able to get those out, so I need orange, so I want to upgrade. So there. I'm not going to follow. With a spade, anybody? Oh, orange. And that goes three conversions. Yep, up to three. Let's do that. All right, so I'm only getting two out of the deal. So these two are going to become two bricks. Two bricks. Stanley. And I'm taking three bricks, Stanley. All right, I'm going to convert gray. Okay, and anybody following? 
Right. Where are you at? Right there. here. For good night, Philip. Thanks the for coming by. To uh, convert gray. Wow. Oh, the the rule book is a disaster. I agree, Scott. I'm not a fan of the rule book at all. You shouldn't reiterate things three and four times. No. Yes. All right. All right. Cool. So upgrade up to three, fellas. I'll do three. You'll do three. I'll do two. And Mike, you're up. Three for you. Two for me. Suddenly, there's all kinds of little cylinders on my board. Yeah. Go with that, Mur. Go with that. Me? I, I've, I, I actually sent them off for a couple of ribeyes. Or, you know, a prime rib, like what's in the fridge for Christmas. Well, technically, it's a standing rib roast because it's choice rib and not prime rib. But you get the idea. Whatever. Hey, they had a sale. It was 22 <laughs> bucks. Hard to argue. Yeah. I've got a freezer full of meat from the last time I went out to my grandparents. Oh. They always have good fresh beef. Nice. Yeah. Where, are they, where are they? Uh, they're out by Sterling, so like two oh, hours further nice. up 76. Cool. Upgrade. upgrade. Upgrade, yep. I will follow. All right. So remember, upgrades are on your on here. Ignore what's on the building. You're paying these goods. Fellas. So wild goods. So go ahead. Oh, I wasn't ready for that. Yet. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> hey, new pig. All right. Or new pug. All right, take care. Thanks for joining us. One. Oh man, this is gnarly. Yikes. <laughs> yeah, this is Two. this is definitely one of my favorite games that I've played so far out of uh, everything from Essen. But there's still a lot to go. But three. Get this engine humming, yo. So I think I can only do these two, right? So this satisfies the... Wild there, yep. The complex one, and this is anything. Okay. Uh, well, you, I could, could, do you could upgrade this one. Well, I don't have a brown. You're looking at the tile. What well, did I just yeah, say? Yeah, you did. You're right. You did just say that. Okay. I didn't mean to spell it out. I apologize. <laughs> no, no, you should. <laughs> um, Please I, continue I to. I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, All right, James, take things. care. All right. Actually, I'm going to do, uh, yeah, so I'm going to do that then. This one, um, this one, and we'll go ahead. Okay. Yeah. You're looking here again. Stop uh -huh. doing that. It's just the upgraded good. And upgraded good. There you, you go. Yeah. Flip them. Actually, yeah. But you know what? I'm going to keep that orange. I don't want to do this table. Give it to me. I'll flip those two. <laughs> That's it. There we go. Whose right. turn was that? Nah. But that was Mike's turn. Okay, so Mike, Mike, you are up. Yep. Nice thing about not having many meeples is I already know what I want to do with them. Okay. Um, we are going Until to somebody do blocks the... Me. And then we get a mark. <laughs> I don't have green is the big issue. All right. So I know I have to go. Oh, there aren't any over there. All right. I need to um, use the wild on the wheat, and I will go on. Eh, I'm on that board. Three wheat each. Thank you. Thanks. That's about what I was just going to do. It's so nice. We're going to do it twice. Yep. Right there with you. So three wheat, and then I'm converting wood. And Anybody three would wheat. like to follow on converting wood. Holy mackerel. I uh, pass. Cannot. I will convert wood. That was here, right? Yep. So okay. I've got three. Oh, converting wood. Nope. I'm going to pass. Oh, sorry. Edward, do you want to wild it up to convert some I wood? I like not to. Oh, and by that, I mean I, yeah. I cannot. I only have those Oh, that's two. gray, not white. Correct. So I have black and gray left. Not to be confused with black and yellow. So am I right that there are four white ones on that tile there? Yeah, <laughs> you are correct, sir. <laughs> <laughs> he was standing on his head. He was so happy to be recruiting those four. These three ones from my keep People are going to go back roads. to mine mm -hmm. already, right? So now I execute this. Yep. And so I get two. You get a re uh, resource cube of your choice and two of those animals your okay. choice. So yep. I'm going to take my turn in the meantime. Be my guest. Um, 
Well, all right, Adrian. Let's go ahead. That'll work. You want to convert a resource into two different? I do not. You, uh, pass. Matt, do you wish to? I'm sorry, what did you say? Convert one no. square into two no. different squares. All right, so I only get to do two. So basically that means I get two resources of my choice. Can you give me um, um, two, cows? two cows? I need two orange cubes, please. We did determine we're piece limited, right? Yes, we are. Okay. There's only one cow left, just okay. so everybody knows. And I'm going to take a one of, one of, Adam. I guess since we're at this point, I will uh, claim that. Okay, cool. Mike? All right. This farmer is going to come to work at this trading post. And he is going to trade one of these cubes in for a... That's cool. Lom Doctor. Nice. This and that. And he's going to trade this in for wood and another wood. Whoops. Matt? Yeah. I am going to take this guy and he's going to go to the brick maker. Okay. And convert one. Convert this into this. All right. So I need to build. There and there. Yeah. So nobody has gray. Nobody has white. So I guess I would build one. So if that's the case, it would make sense to build it on my own. But why not deny you guys the ability? But that's an extra. Uh... Yeah, I'm okay with that. So I'm going to go there to build. Nobody can follow. So that's my last keeple. So I'm going to build. Wait, I can build doesn't affect me, so I'm going to go ahead and... I can only build one, so I'm going to moving. build that oh. there. And that'll be those two. Done. Oh. Neither of you have black left, so you can't follow me. So it's kind of the same situation. I will go here. That's awesome. And <laughs> I will spend a round one to build that jewel cutter. Where'd you go? I went uh, right okay. here to build. All right, Mike. Oh, that's upgrade. Junk. Oh, I'll go there and build for a discount, and instead I'll here trade me this gray for that brown. This gray for that brown. Yep. All right. I like that, Mur. You should do that. Have a key month. I like that. I have a place to put a horse. Is that a horse? Or is that a cow? That's a cow. That's a cow. Horses are brown. I... Light brown. You should put it here. I, I, you, you should follow me here. Would I, you, would you I... like to horse around? <laughs> <laughs> Nay! I, I guess, uh, yeah, he neighed. He is. Um, so I... no one's following. Go ahead. So you get two actions. So, okay. Uh, a horse... And a cube. Okay, done. Matt. This is a woodcutter, and I'm gonna go there. I elect not to pat or not to follow. No, Nobody is. Two. So two. Nobody's following anybody at this point. Done. Adrian, you get to lay down. I'll trade these trade these three grays in for three advanced. Mike, trades. you're up. Very nice, Jeff. Uh, here, that basically just gets me one more, and it gets me one more of those. 
Matt. Again, I definitely recommend here. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. All right. So two chickens, two brown cubes. Two brown cubes. Five points. Plus the... Now it's for each one, right? So, no, it's, uh, so it's six points. Yeah. So all right. 20, so I am 18. out of all my dudes. So we're actually going to go ahead and start laying down now. So what do we want? We could get a whole bunch of cows, which I can't do anything with. I could build one more building, which actually is tempting. Or I could claim two of those. I don't think I really want to do that. So I could build or get two more cubes. And getting a couple of cubes seems to be a good... Uh, I will get one more, so I'll be able to do them both. So actually, I'll go ahead and do that. So I will take a brown and an orange cube, please. Adrian. I'm going to lay this guy down and do a discounted build. And I'm going to build pavements for just one gray. Mike. So I can harvest a bunch of uh, wheat, that, or upgrade three buildings, or do this again. Um, well, we're on this uh, kick. No clue. Let's take three wheat. When in doubt, get resources, right? Yep. So three wheat. Okay. Matt, place your last dude, all which right. means all, and this is the last one, so we yeah. all get to take, not name Matt, we get to take a lay down action. Yep. So I'm going to get two brick. Yep. Stanley two brick. All right. For mine, I'm going to get one more build. So my build is going to be this one here, That's which is going to be to have more. there. To have less, you get the, this Done. lay down action matters. Uh, I'll lay down this sailor. Thank you so much for that. I'll spend two brown and I go to 11 points. Now we'll upgrade three. You were at six, right? I was at six. Oh, yeah, I was counting three and then one. Yeah. So we'll upgrade this brick maker. This abacus was missing a bead. I have one too many beads. <laughs> For anything. And we'll upgrade the farmyard. For. Take any, care, Rajur. Have a good night. Anything. So the additional fair tiles only happen to maybe come out from the draw, right? I've, I've, I've never seen what just happened that eight <laughs> village tiles come out. So upgrade that. Four, I didn't get anything in the gym business. Which is so how many four. upgrades did you get? Three. Three. Right. Yep. All right. So here we go. So now, nice shot. Now we do summer fairs. So nobody has any new ones. So let's see. I have a pig. I have one. And I have one. So I get to keep that tile. Good to go. All right. Adrian? Uh, I've got wheat, small brown, big brown. Okay. Wheat, stone, and... Build it, cinder blocks? I don't know. Okay. Uh, wheat, orange cube. So everyone's got there so far. Good job. All right. So is everybody housed all your animals? I'm good to go. Yep. Nobody has any excess animals that they cannot house? Nope. All right. Okay. Cool. Good. Yep. All right. Retrieve your board and your keeples. Oof. Not good. Here, let me have my challenge going. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Fine. So now uh, we're going to discard these four tiles out of the game. Mike. And we go into a new season. So we draw eight more. Somebody else want to draw so we don't get... Uh... Yeah, seriously. <laughs> yeah, that, that was horrible. All right. Cool. And now we're into the fall. See? This is... There you go. So... Summer obviously isn't going to happen, but you could still do them in fall and in winter as well. Notice on the back side for points. Okay, so we have that. There's two. There's three. 
Alright, so we got the ring maker. That's pretty self-explanatory what that is. The entertainer we'll have to look up. Wow. Four fair tiles. Wow, there are all kinds of ways to make these things go. The boatman together. for every blue meeple you have at the end of the game. So meaning however many end up on yours. And wow. Another fair tile. All right, so we need to look up the entertainer. Terrible. So the entertainer, hello my baby, hello my darling, hello my ragtime girl. Uh, we will be flipping the boards again for the winner, despite the fact that fall and winter had the same. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you have to flip your board come fall or winter? You could, in theory, just throw it right back out, right? Okay. All right, the entertainer. The tile owner scores one point for each season in which they held one or more fairs. So as long as you've held a fair in every season, it's worth four points. The backside makes it eight points. Okay. Cool. So we need to shuffle up the boat tiles, please. All six of them. Fellas, if I can tear you away from your boards. Well, I can see a big, huge flaw in my plans. So bad. And here... So let's see. Oh well. So we are into autumn. Yes, so the board has completely outsmarted me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is so not good. Huh? There we are. This is. Yeah, I think we're gonna go with that one. So bad. I think. Where do we go there? Let's see. Yeah, I like that. All right, I've decided. Fellas? I've decided. Done. Um, 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 um. I'm done. <laughs> Graceful. <laughs> so here, hold on. Those are identical? Yep. And those two are identical. <laughs> So, there you go. So we have two different boards. All right, so these are the same, those are the same, okay? All right, so now, anybody have more than eight? Yep. Okay, sure. yes. so, Kleiker, add oh. your other two over with the others. Add them to your pile of okay. guys. Now choose eight to keep, and put the others back over onto your... Okay. Maybe I'm standing up, though, because you lay yeah, them down right. later. Yeah, fair enough. Everyone done? Yep. All right, easy enough. Cool. Uh, so, Kleiker, you start because you were the last one. Again? All right. <laughs> okay. Um, that's not a bad thing. Uh, even though I don't have a green, I'm going to go use the white and get some chickens. Some chickens, huh? Okay. Uh, I elect not to follow. I could follow with a green, mind you. Yes. So, I have no white. I'm hurting this turn. Hashtag good teacher. Uh, but uh, I could use a green, but I really don't care about the chickens, so I'm all set. Gross. Um, Look at Sweater Mike over there hogging all the white. I am also going to pass. I have indeed started a convent over here. Let me see. Hold on. Do I want three chickens? What can I do with three chickens? We have a chicken boat. We don't have a chicken boat. Well, these have backsides, don't they, for the winter? Yep, actually, you're right. Totally blue. I that. actually will fall off. Sorry. So we should be refilling this every turn. Eh, oh, well. oh, so be it. Eh, not the end of the world. What do you mean refilling it? Every time somebody takes some, it fills back oh, to eight. Okay. Oh, well. All right. Oh, so when you take a fair tile, you take it blind. Huh? What? No. No. If somebody takes a tile, we then draw a new tile. Oh, oh no, what I mean is these are fair tiles. Yeah, so, so look we, at it. Oh, it's a boar get... and a deer, and on the other side, it's a boar, a deer, a ruby, and a uh, yep. blue sapphire. I followed you, so we okay. each get three chickens, uh, which I guess chickens are over here. Yep. Uh, uh, All right, so I'm up. Good call, Mur. Oh, well. Uh... Chickens don't have a place other than the 
chicken shed, I'm assuming. Hmm. Let's take me some gold. Anybody want some gold? Uh, yeah. Three gold each, please. Adrian, you're up. All right. I will, uh, ooh, boy. Oh, mistakes right. were made. Yeah, that's, that was implied, Mer. I will, that one does not have a color associated with it, so which color do I not care about? You should, you should put gray out there. I don't, I don't think I'm gonna do Just that. Just cause I'm the only one with gray other than you. I'm gonna put that one out there. Uh, so I'm taking tiles. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, let's do it. All right, three tile or two tiles each. You take one. All right, Mike. And this is a gold nugget and a ruby. Yep. Is four points. Correct. And if you add in emeralds for the other side, it's six points. Wow. A lot of gemstones coming up here. Yep. Take another one. Okay, what do I have? I don't have chickens. I have... Well, that's all livestock, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Boars and goats, boars and or uh, goats and chickens, deer and goats, boars and deer. Oh my goodness! <laughs> but they've also got the other side, right? Which just add to those things. Which make it worse. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> Adrian, you want char on the boat, man? All right, fly safely, Jeff. Take care. Happy holidays to you as well. This is Scott Manley. Fly safe. Oh, yeah. No, else well, hold on, you? hold on. Don't put them on your. Yeah, they go over here. Guys. Oh, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. then you can just claim it whenever. You Either need in it. autumn or, or winter. Four new tiles. So we have the hop field. Oh, I feel like I need yep. to get that one. Look it up. There we go. Livestock market. The emporium's pretty self-explanatory. We've already covered those. And the key market, turn in two of those things. To get one of those things. Hop field that tile. That doesn't make sense. Hop field tile converts one wheat into one animal of any type. There we go. All right, cool. Livestock market. Uh, converts one animal into one animal of any type. Okay, yeah, all eight animals. I think it's eight, however many there are. The key market. I'm not seeing it. It's a village tile, but whose turn is it after that? Uh, uh, it'll be my, my turn. Right, after go that. ahead. Go ahead, unless you're worried about what the key market does right now. I got it. Go ahead. Well. All right, so Matt, they got their freak on in that gold, or gold mine over there. Want to do the same? I do. All right. So you can follow with the black because it's black. Which I will. Yeah. Correct. The key market converts any two of the following resources, finished goods, gems, and raw materials into one resource of those same types, um, including wheat you can use because it's white, mind you. Uh, with no upgrade, the tile's worth three points at the end of the game. If the tile has been upgraded, it can convert one of those resources into any one. And it's worth five points at the end of the game. Okay. All right. Matt, it's your turn. Uh, I am... There's the upgrade building. That's gray. And I don't have a gray. Gosh. It's Here, you need some? I have plenty. <laughs> Man, it hurts. It hurts. Edward, are you going to follow him on upgrading? Oh, wait. I'm sorry. I don't want to upgrade. I want to build. That's not that. That's that. Yes. Uh, yes. Not on this one. Yeah, it's right here. Oh, then that's what I want to do. Okay, so we're building. Okay. I am. I cannot follow. 
All right, I will follow. Okay, oops. so we each get a build three times. Three buildings. Not upgrade, build. Hmm. So what are y'all doing? Ah, uh, that's a building. All right, go ahead, build. None of these old chickens. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> it's never not annoying, is it? <laughs> <laughs> um. All right. So while you guys are debating, I'm going to go there to upgrade. And yeah, I'm just gonna build those two. I think. Okay. That's all I really need. So, Adrian, are you following to upgrade the buildings you just built? Actually, we're gonna choose there. I. Oh man. No. No, I'm not. Mike, you're the only other one that can pass. All right, so I'm upgrading two buildings for that. So that's going to be two here. So it's going to be two wheat there. Go ahead and flip those. Done. Adrian? All right, I'm going to uh, set sail on this the SS Flipper. Those things don't have anything to do with it, right? Correct. Um, drop it over here. And I will take one horse and one ruby. One ruby, please. Okay. Yeah. Okay, you got the right season. Here's on. one ruby. Uh, I am absolutely going to follow that. So it's three things, Adrian. I will take another ruby because I don't have a place for horses. And sure you I do. would have to. I've already got one. Oh, oh yeah, because this one. I'm just taking three rubies. It's you get a point every time you go um, on a boat. Never mind. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Per guy or just one time? In other words, if I'm able to do three, is it th three or is it, it for every time you place a blue That's guy it. on a boat? Okay. Per. Mike? Upgrade. Oh, you're claiming. Yep. Okay. Clicker. Don't forget. I'll remind you. Hopefully you'll remind me. <laughs> Bonk. So you get a resource or a livestock. A, he gets a livestock. A livestock. And Matt. Yep. Sheep, please. Do my boat action. So what am I trying to do here? And I'm going to see a man about a horse. Sea breeze. <laughs> You can't follow. I can't, can't follow. follow. You can follow. I can, can't I? And you have gold. I do have mm, gold. I'm fancy. I have gold. Mm. And the cow. I wonder if it has So I could sell all three of my gold if I did that. Mm. <laughs> Pass. Bummer. Okay, so I get two. I'll sell the two cows uh, for um, six, seven points seven. total. It's two each, so that's four, five, six, seven. seven. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Yep. So I should take another horse. So 25? 25. All right, so debating and failing to come up with a plan here. <laughs> um, help me out. Are there... There are no horses out there, are there? Nope, that's why I took that boat with the horses. Okay, here, let me show you what you do. When you get to this tile that has horses and you can't get horses, you do this. All right, 
So, the, yeah, yeah, 100% <laughs> that is appropriate. Thank you. Well done. Well played. Um, I need to build, so I guess we're going to go building. We're not going to build on that tile. And that's upgrade. Build, we could go there. Yeah, we'll go there. Hold on. Yeah, do you want to follow Adrian to build? I do not. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Hold on one. So that will hold on. Let me make sure. Yes, we're good. All right, so, so that'll be two. two builds. Yeah. All right, so I will. Three builds? Two. Because Doesn't match a, the color. Yeah, it's a brown one and it's got a gray. So I'm going to build mm. the brick maker there. So it's going to use. That and a wheat for the white, and then for the second build, there's no discount out there, is there? Nope. Okay, so we will go ahead and go to the scrap yard as well, and we'll build that puppy right there for a resource of my choice. Yeah, we got an extra one of those, so done. All right, all right, my turn to place. And what'd you build, Mike? I built the drainage ditch here in the center and the ring maker, because I am all set up for that. Okay. Remember, it's a max of four things you can do. Adrian, you're up. And it's four sets of those, right? Hey, Matt, are there any geese you here. could sell? Amanda wants to know. <laughs> And get two boars. Would anybody like to follow for two boars? I would love to. However, I I cannot. Mike. Two boars, really? Pass. Yes. So that makes it three boars. It does. Mike, you're up. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have some animal deaths, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you can only hold four, yeah, right? They're, they're, okay. Yeah, they're going right. to go away. Me too. <laughs> oh, no, I'm, I'm planning just fine. Oh, okay. It's, it's extra loss. Oh, okay. It's, yeah, all right. You know, we're same. Okay. Right. All right. It's, hey, just, it's yeah. natural attrition. Okay. You may only need one. You don't need the other two. Yeah, well, they usually you need two yeah. to make a third. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> you just go buy some more. Okay, uh, I'm Take a look. Boar, goat, ruby, yep, gold yep, on yep. the other side. Got it. Are you done? Oh, I'm sorry, where'd you go? I'm going to do the trading. Okay, oh. on your own. Matt, go ahead. <sighs> if you don't mind putting that over there, so then. I'm going to take a horse, which is a little bit of a horse, <laughs> but I'm not a horse. Because unlike Edward, my horse has got a home. And then I'm going to take... I am the horseless horseman. <laughs> I'm going to take another cube. What cube there you go, Adrian. I take? That's for you. Yeah. Wow. What cube do I take? <laughs> You're up. <laughs> so... That's that's not good. I'm really more mad at him. I really okay. like that one. Yeah. All right. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I make a good play? I mean, you made a play. I did. It, it was, in fact, wait for it, a play. It was. I'm just um, excited to have white again. Well, I'm Boy, this has been a limiting. Just turn. go ahead and turn this gray into a uh, blue gemstone, please. Sapphire. All right, Mike. Yeah. All right, got the rest of my turn planned out, I think. Ooh, maybe not. Oh my gosh, 
that's just gonna suck next round. Yeah. Wood. <laughs> and would I just, anybody like to do upgrades? I'd love to. I would, but I don't have. Oh, green but I or could, white. huh? Don't mind if I do. So I have a gray guy, although that oh that goes the mics. Yeah. It's all right. I'm already maxed out at eight. <laughs> yeah, but you get resources. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like not to. Thank you very this much. Guy. I'm trying to sell it. It's like upgrades right. here. All right, okay. so you're on your own on the yep. upgrades. So I'm a yes, team. Mr. Ed has no horse. And that's original, Franny. I've never heard that my entire life. You would believe? Would you believe that? Me either. No. No. Then it'd be like saying that I've never heard of it. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. No. I, no, I, was I, doing I wouldn't that buy that. <laughs> I was doing that earlier. I would not buy that. <laughs> oh, horse is a horse. Of course, of course. I'm going to pay for that with grain. Okay. Two upgrades. All right. Clyker. Yeah. Um, Clyker. Clyker. Emphasis on the L. Stop. I need to focus. <laughs> <laughs> You're a criminal. Yeah. It hurts so good. Uh, um... There's a lot to juggle mm, in this really game, is. huh? It really is. It's not... My coffee got real cold. Yeah. That's what this is for. <laughs> right here. So it's like a... Oh, wait. Tepid no, coffee. I want the one I get the plans. So I'm okay. going to take a plan. So no one can follow? You know, hold on. Hold on. Mike can follow. Oh. Yeah, he's got a wild still. Plans? Yeah. Do, I, do I even want one of those plans? <laughs> Thing for the future, man. I would yeah, it's worker like. placement unlike any other worker placement you've ever played. It's so, fantastic. There you go. Yeah. It'd be very interesting. And I like that you can set your own board. I think that's pretty clever. Yeah. I love those little flippy boards. That's got to be one of the no, I've never seen I've it. Seen. I, I, I so don't see how I can capitalize on those. Okay. Well, I mean, but these things, you know, oh, man. <laughs> you yeah, don't know where it's going to come in. I could one-to-one -one these but animals into ones that... Uh, Hardcore. That's Banker Dave. Oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Unless that was a severe lisp or, a, you know, speech impediment. Okay. I don't want to cry twice a I week mean, on, please. on camera. <laughs> <laughs> that was ridiculous. You're done? I am. All right. In more so, ways than one. I have three dudes, so we're going to go and take my gray. And uh, would anybody like I'm to... feel generous. Come on. Would you like to... Join me, Mike, for an upgrade. You already have eight. You're already maxed out, so it doesn't matter. Um, I think I'm all upgraded out. Okay. All right. So I'm going to do two upgrades because that matches. So, all right. And two then I'm two upgrades so are going to be yes. two wheat here. So that's going to be upgrade that and upgrade that. Those are two very important upgrades I needed. Done. All right, Mike, you're up. Six. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Potential guard, that's fine. Mistakes were made. Yeah, several. <laughs> <laughs> The story of this game is I had eight workers and then mistakes for me. <laughs> now I'm going to get four. It's just been dwindling. Ouch. Turn after turn after but, turn. But the, the cool thing is, is this is definitely one we're going to be reviewing. So I would, you know, if you guys are around for the next month when we're playing this, this would be a good game of the month yeah. game. Yeah. Uh, on a uh, Monday or Friday. I already yeah. want to play it again. Yeah. Wow. I okay. still don't have a clue on what to do, but I want to play it again. I'm gonna go to the brick maker. Turn this into two brick into two bricks. Spiker. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. I have to give this to you. 
because somebody didn't come along with the plan. Oh, the horror. Wait a minute. You don't have to eat. You could go here. I could, but... Why would you help the guy who's killing it? Hmm? What are you talking about? He's helping me. Oh, oh, Agent. And, oh, and carry it, on. And it's heavy on one color, so carry it's on. not the greatest right. move, I think. <laughs> All right. So I just get the one, right? Yeah, because no one... Yeah. Well, no, Mike can follow. Oh, I, I apologize. Hold on. Mike can follow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that would get me... Which that should well, be... Re one more should be there, you're right? You're going... Oh, yeah. yeah. Should have... Hold on. Should have redrawn. In case that affects your decision. Man. There you go. Oh, that'd be the <gasps> oh, bricklayer. bricklayer. No, I'm fine. Which, actually, that might work out for Adrian. He's going to have He's gonna have three of them. Yeah. But, Mike, are you following to take two of those tiles. they're going right at the end. Yeah, but I'll get to lay down at least once. Yep, and true. so I could lay down the yep. claim too. And yep. Oh, that's oh, good. Now that's if you place them on your, on your if I get it country placed, tile. Yeah. Right, yeah. Pass. All right, so yeah, you get the one. You stick them with the boatman. Yeah. All right, so we redraw Griefill. The stone yard. Again, pretty self-explanatory. Um, so I'm noticing a distinct lack of green worker placement locations. That's something I probably should have taken into consideration uh, hey, I when some. I chose my board. Yeah, well, you, oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> let me, uh, let, let me clarify. There's just a distinct lack of things that I could keep with them. Uh, wow. So nobody has green workers. Mike still has that emeralds. Oh, I do need those. So I will actually go there and take an emerald. Mike, do you want to follow? Yep. All right, that worked out. Two emeralds. All right. I am going to... Thanks, sir. I'm going to lay these So he'll potentially get two lay down actions, right? I'm sorry? Uh, I will only get... No, him. Oh, yeah. He will get I two. I should get two, yeah. No, yeah, he will. Yeah. Yeah. And this is max four, you said. I'm going to take that. So all of a sudden... My yeah, and Adrian, the, 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 the peanut gallery is bringing up a good point. The fact that you're going to have less workers isn't necessarily no, a bad thing because you can lay them down yes. Yes. more. So. I, I think that's better. Right. Although I'm actually... actually I'll be like, right with there. that five, I'm up to six because i got one on my home board, so I'm already... I, I really think... I'd be interested to play this again. I, I think having more workers isn't necessarily the best. Um, that's a that's nice. going to be worth anything. I don't think I want that. I don't want to compete. Yeah, I lose. I, uh, I think I'll take this. Two to one of things to turn two to one of other things. What do I want another fair token? Although having this to lay down got me a horse when I couldn't otherwise have gotten one, which is going to be good for my fare. Yeah. Whereas, like, Edward couldn't get that, so he had to ditch his... So, so it does come in handy. I think having an extra guy here is not a bad deal, but the lay down is pretty big. Mm -hmm. Are you waiting on me? Uh, no, it's my turn now? Yeah. So I can upgrade, upgrade, or collect a chicken coop full of chickens that I cannot house other than one. That's interesting. Yay. I'm never going to get all these out next turn. Yeah. I, I should not have followed him into the emerald mine. <laughs> bring, that, bring that over here. So I think dumb. I have all of my buildings completely upgraded. So dumb. I can get that. You have to house your animals at the end of the season? Correct. After the fair. After right? the fair. Yep, very last thing. So where are we, guys? Uh, we're yeah, on my so turn much. to do a lay down action. Okay. So lay it down in action and upgrade a farm can, building. Can All right. Matt, you're up for your yep. last boatman. Mm-hmm. So are you still six Saturdays and a Sunday? Yeah, pretty okay. much. I'm, I've got some uh, 
freelance and contract work I've picked up. Okay. Helping an old customer of the old shop set up their own gear department because they didn't like the work they were getting from the shop. Oh, that's funny. That, <laughs> but that's that that it's a credit that you know they they you're helping them you with. Can't it. follow. No one can follow. Okay, them. then I'm getting a ruby. All right. Uh, last action, and then you guys will get an extra laydown. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah, I think. Yeah, that looks like. So I have two options here. So I have one guy. He's going to come and work on my own board here. So he's either going to go there to convert that into two different resources, mm -hmm. or I could go there and convert it into one. One stone, and I definitely want. Yeah, let's go ahead and go here. So we'll go ahead. That'll be one, which will give me two. Bricks. Two. Yep. You you had it. You had bricks. it. Oh. Sorry. Yeah. Two bricks. <laughs> oh, two. Stanley, two bricks. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm going to lay these bricks go. down and so, get three yep. gold. Okay. Cool. There's one gold nugget left in the universe. And I'm going to lay this guy down and get one chicken. Yeah. I'm going to lay this guy down. Oh, hold on. We should refill this, just okay. FYI. So it's another fare. And, and the bracelet I'm ship a, I'm going to ship two gold. Uh, no, don't worry about them. You, these are just what you're not going to be able to get. Does laying down count as moving on a ship? I guess it does, right? Taking an action on a ship? Cool. Then I'll take it. Uh, so two gold would be four, five, six, seven points. Jeez. All right. That's probably going to pay 25 dividends. 25 and 7 is 32. All right. So I'm now... Zero. Uh, yeah. I'm going for all in-game. So your fares, I, I didn't it. qualify for mine, so I already discarded my fall fare. Anyone else? And don't forget your other ones you can qualify yeah, I for. I qualify now. for both of these. Um, well, actually... You don't have to claim it even if you do qualify, do you? You do not. If you want to save it for winter, you can do so because you can only uh, complete a fair now, does on the, one season. The gems you're using to complete that, like those aren't part of the placing things at the end either. I'm just going to sit on both those. I claim that one, though. Okay. Mike? Horse and gold nugget. Horse and chicken. All right. Cool. So now, now how is all your animals that you lose? I'm chicken and go. a boar die for me. I'm going to lose, I'm going to be able to keep two of each. These are double-sided, right? So yeah, that's the Well, issue. no, yeah. it's, yeah, it's yeah, the season. Yeah, yeah. Yep. I'll keep two of each. Thank okay. You. All right. It's so rough, rough there, these get discarded. And take your tile, take or board, as it were. All right, here you go. Mike, you throw out eight new tiles for me. That's weird. Now, on this last turn, what's the implication of putting a guy out other than just executing these? Is that it? Oh, it there, if there's end game scoring ones, end well, game I'm, scoring. Okay. So, yeah, well, I see. So, what, you what mean. is it you're asking? Oh, I'm, I got you. I'm not understanding. I see. No, I, I answered my question. You guys might want to look at what tiles are available. It might impact what you're doing. So, so mm -hmm. what you're saying is, even though he's got the bonus for getting the claim in. He doesn't have those claim in yet. No. It's going to be whichever he claims as his keep. Yeah, I gotcha. Yeah. You're smart. So maybe claim a tile early and then just play all my claim in on it. It's an option. It so the building plot is the only one and the boarding house that need to be explained, I feel like. Mm -hmm. The building plots. Uh, uh, do the ships too. Once the building plot okay. has been Here's built. Once a building plot has been built, a building can be built at no cost on a plot to the right of the building plot. To build onto that plot, a build action must still be used, but the build cost on the tile being built is ignored. Uh, and then we have the, uh, the boarding house. 
If there's a village, not a farm tile built on the left or right, those each score two points each. Okay, cool. All right, so we have the, uh, can we see what the four tiles are? Plan better, play better. Make sure they're on the winter side. Anybody have more than eight keeples? Yes. Then place them out on your... Not you. Nope. And then choose the winter one. Half the battle's finding the stupid snowflake. It moves around so much. <laughs> it's in here somewhere. Well, I think there's, on mine at least, there's two of them. Hmm. Maybe not. Man. There we go. That's the one we want. Oh yep, gosh. that's what we're going with. Done. There so, once y'all are ready. Remember, there's always four options, fellas. Yeah. Ready. No, I'm not ready. I appreciate that, Derek. I'm Thanks a lot. Even ready yet. I do think that uh, me and six Saturdays and a Sunday, meaning, well, either of these guys, I think we're going to live stream this two-player at some point. I've um, been down. I thought you might be. Uh, I it might redo the teach. So... <laughs> Okay, everyone I'm done? Ready. Mike? I yeah. lost mine. I had it. Hold on. I want it. Yeah. Give Adrian an hour. Yeah, this is this is a really clever me uh, me mechanism. Just, just fun. Yeah, it it's is. Just fun it to is. fiddle with. <laughs> right. But it also, I mean, the decisions are real. So, you look for the, the dude with... I the, found it. Yeah. It's right. And remember, you can always... Yeah, there's four configurations. I found. Yeah, all right. I'm better for worse. So it looks like these two are going to, the two in the center are going to be the same. And the two on the outside are the same. So if that's the case, here we I go. Should have done the other configuration. <laughs> All right. I take that back. <laughs> All right, so I start again because I didn't get the extra lay down. All right, so what did we do? Oh, you know what? I totally forgot. Take this dude back too. Oh, for the first time in all my all three of my games, I got somebody over here. So what do I? I might want to mix that up. I could get a barnyard animal. Um. I actually like getting the other resource better. Ah, that's brown. Oh, well, we'll go ahead and put him there. Done. All right, so what do we want to do this turn? I definitely w want to get this built, I think. Because uh, this is going to be the main thing. I need two and one respectively of those. So I'm going to go for that to start. So, okay. Am I in on emeralds? If not, I get two of them. White or black? I pass on emeralds. Oh, cool. Amanda said, uh, episode 95, we review Lagerstatten and QE. I am joining you in that emerald mine. Thank you. And we're going to make a ton of money. Just remember, max of four. Max per. of four there. Okay. Adrian, you're up. So what can I do with this other emerald? I'm going to do that uh, key flower, the deer and pig vessel. I goofed up so bad on my board. Mistakes were made. Oh, my gosh. Press the I coin. I can't make a, it, well, is that a, there's no goat there. No, the, there is, in fact... Mm -hmm. Excuse me. There's there none go. of the wild animals. Oh, only the domesticated ones. There. there you go. Oh, man. There's no goat on the board, right? 
Does uh, not appear to be. It appears someone has your goat. <laughs> <laughs> Really? Uh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I am. Uh, oh, oh, gross. Here, you can take this and throw it away. <laughs> I know. I wanted there to mock you. <laughs> um. <laughs> Mistakes were made. I'm gonna take a deer and uh, sell a pig I'm for so two. So proud of myself. Like, oh, I'm just gonna. Uh, Unless on, anybody hold would hold like hold to follow me on, on this boat for pigs. Yeah. Uh, eight, um, hold on, Mike. Are you following? With uh, oh, it'd have to be a so, white guy, wouldn't it? Or blue, or blue. Pass. Hey, Mr. Blue Boy. Deer pigs. Mr. Gainsborough. I'm gonna pass. Maybe a mistake. Uh, pass. I'm debating. That would give me three things, right? Mm -hmm. I'll sell my other pig. For two more. So, uh, I will sell two pigs for four points. There, so four up to 12. And then I will go ahead and take a deer. Red ones. There. Okay, done. All right, Mike. Hmm. Oh, you're no Mur. I'm not hand holding like that. These guys are smart enough; they can figure it out. Nah. I'm all for letting them challenge. What's that? Mur says he like. He, he thinks it's best to handhold and be like, okay, if you flip to the left, oh. you get this configuration. Yeah. Flip to, and I'm like, no, nah, these guys can figure it out. It's, I mean, plus we're in the fourth season now. They've had three chances, uh, experiences to do it. Plus it makes for more interesting watching. Watching, <laughs> watching Matt implode. I'm doing fine. No, I know. I'm just doing fine. I got a plan. <laughs> <laughs> it's a horrible one, but I have one. <laughs> We're coming here to the trading post. All right, Clicker, go and, ahead. And uh, notice the L. Yeah. Do that. This. And so I'm going to get two things. Two animals. Yep. Yeah. One of which is not a goat, mm. unfortunately. Interesting. Mm. I thought you waited to claim a ship that had two blue guys on it rather than just one. Well, look around. There are none. There are none. He well, has them. Currently, but... Yeah. Yeah. Well, he has them all, so he can make sure that that happens. Yeah. Which was the bummer for you using the, the blue. I was hoping you'd follow the white, but... Okay. Um, so I need to figure out... I'm going to do a horse. Hand me the and sea breeze, a, please. Actually, uh, I'm going to do a horse and a cow, please. Oh, no. Hmm? Sea breeze. Horse and a cow. Oh, horse. A cow. He, he already got a horse. Uh, and a cow. Thank you. I stopped reading after the CB. Uh, if anybody would like to come and join me. I cannot. Mike? I sure would like to, though. And that would give me three or sell. Nowhere to house a cow. Yeah, I do. Sure, let's do it. What could possibly go All wrong? All right, I'll Are you take. Sure you want to do that? You I'll really take. Uh, want to do that. I will sell a cow. Yes. For skip. two. Just skip. And I'll take two gold, please. Okay. Thank you. I'm taking two gold, one gold, and two that cows, was your place please. Right, Edward. Yes. All right. Adrian? Two cows, please. I really wanted Got it. a ship. I really wanted a ship. I am going to... Pretty sure it's going to be hashtag good teachers tonight. That's good. It certainly seems to be going that way. 
Um, I'm going to do... Even with the horrible teach, I feel like Mike got it. So at least there's that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do build two. Mike, would you like to follow? Oh, absolutely. All right, so let's build three then. Let us build three. Those three right there, in fact. People are going to take your guys' words for it. Yeah. There's the money. There's those. We have the wheat. There's the cow shed under the cows. Yes. Pavement entertainer. All right, Mike. And it's my turn. All right then. Oof, and now it's time for a little upgrading. And in case y'all didn't notice, there's no wheat on the board oh. in winter. No winter wheat? No there winter is no wheat. Winter there wheat. is a boat, though, that still has wheat on it. And we're not claiming... Are we claiming tiles of and course you are. after yes, this? Of okay. course you are. Because, like, he needs the three clay guys. You just don't change it. Got it. Who would like to upgrade with me? Upgrade? Yeah. I would. All right, let's upgrade three things then. Yeah, let's upgrade I I needed to. both of those. Super gross. And the cow shed. So I can upgrade. That's both of these and that. And just like to clarify, you can next. use you can use that was wheat Mike's upgrade. You can use wheat to satisfy the upgrade. Yep, for correct. Because it's a white one. Okay, so I'm only going to upgrade two, but these are the only two I needed to. Appreciate it, Mer, but I, I expect more of myself. Spent hours prepping for that and still didn't. Oof. It was yeah. 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 a little hard. That's all right. That's all right. Next one. No big deal. All right. You're done. Clayker, you're up. Yes. With the L. Nicely upgraded my dock and my seafarer. We're going to go to C on the old flipper. Um, it's horses and uh, rubies. Ooh, uh, that's awfully tempting. It's points. Yeah, hold on one second. So it'd be three if I go there. So I need to be able to do that. There and there. Yeah, if I took three, I would then need. I just don't need to do that. You don't have. Oh, you're you're trying to buy. Boy, you know I'm not gonna study long, study wrong. I'm just gonna go with it. Am I? Yeah, I am. I'll come over there and join you. Okay. And I'll I'll just take three rubies, please. Three rubies. Ruby, Ruby, Ruby. And then you claim that same board, I assume, that you were making. I don't board? know, oh. actually. I'm going to sell two horses and a ruby, uh, which is three items for uh, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Right? Mm -hmm. I think I did that right. Uh, this is going to be great to see because you've gone, you, you guys have done beautiful job on the shipping stuff. I've shipped zip. Yeah, but look at all those I've, gems you're lining up and for. I've, your, yeah. And I've gone all in on this. It'll be interesting to see how this shakes down. I agree. Okay, uh, so I did that. It's your turn. I know. I'm look, I'm, what I'm doing right now is I'm looking at everyone's uh, keeples, what colors they have and where I match up Yeah. so that people can piggyback. Um, mm -hmm. You know what? I, with Mike having a white left, I'm actually going to take one of my brown here and I'm looking at the tiles. So I'm going to assume Adrian wants this. So that means I'm going to get either this one 
or this one, which right now truly does not matter to me. So therefore, I'm going to go with the discounted build question. Hold on. It's still a minimum of one. Um, yep. No, that's right. Not a build. Sorry. I want to acquire buildings. So Adrian cannot. Mike can. And you're the only one that can. I see no way to do this. Pass. Okay. So I will take the jeweler. Mm -hmm. Done. All right. Um, I am going to upgrade. Would you like to use your wild to upgrade? All right, Tony, have a good night. I'm, I'm upgraded out. I'm exhausted. All right, Edward, you're the only other one. Do you want to upgrade? Where? Help me out. Over here. With your gray? Do I want to upgrade? Uh, when you say want. No, I don't. No. <laughs> Not yet. If you would have timed that better, I would have done it later. Yep, I clearly made a mistake. <laughs> so, all right. Where's that coin? <laughs> <laughs> So I get two. So you get two two upgrades. And Mike, go ahead while he's doing that. I'm surprised you have been rolling the dice on claiming your country. Your mic fell down. Oh, thank you. Let's... Anybody want a pile of rubies? Uh, only Matt and Adrian can. Right now you're getting two. I'm getting one for there and one for down here off the board. No, I don't want to give you more. Adrian, points. do you want to get three rubies? Actually, I do want to get out of guys, though, so... Uh, um, yeah, I'll do that. Here are your three rubies and one more for me. Your turn, sir. I'm going to do this right. I really messed up. I'm going to use a blue dude to the brick maker. Turn this into a brick. I got a bit of a conundrum because that's that is the only discounted bit. Nope, there's two discounted builds, isn't there? Yeah, there is. All right, so I'm gonna place my green one there. Mike, you want to come with? Pass. Okay, so I get one discounted build. So that's gonna be this one for just one, right there. So that'll be that guy there. Done. Pig farmer. I'm still not happy about it. Uh, no one can follow. It's all you. Two pig. Two pigs. Bacon, Those bacon. All right. Oh, man. Wow, there is not going to be a lot of following here. Uh -oh. At least I'll be able to lay some stuff down. Gosh, I wish I could have got the bonus for that. Yeah, I'm going to have to. Oh. Snap. I just realized something. Mistakes were seriously made. Oh, I'm such a moron. I'm feeling that now, too. I think it's contagious here. Wow. All <laughs> right. If I have not claimed a tile, can I lay anything down out there? You cannot. All right. You, yeah, you have to be devoid to of all meeples. Including and the keeper. keeper. Correct. I still haven't done that either yet. <laughs> Ah. Brown and clay. Uh, wait, what color is Where'd that? Where'd you go? Is that is that the orange or the it's orange brown? Orange and brown, but it's both. Oh, so I'm turning this orange in, which is so dumb, for a brown. All of these conversions over here are just one time, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So here's the conundrum I'm having right now. So here we go. So check it out. So I have emeralds on these. I got rubies on one, I got gold on another. 
So assuming I'm going to be able to build that, which I'm going to, I'm not worried about that. I need, it looks like, a total of eight emeralds. I have five. And I need four gold, which I'm good to go there. And I need one more. So I need more emeralds. But I also need to build that, and I only have one orange cylinder. So if I claim a tile to be able to lay down, which I will clearly be able to lay some stuff down, could get emeralds here. But this one has the discounted build along with upgrades. So I think we're going to actually go ahead and go over there. Done. Oh, glory to roll, Don't man. <laughs> hey. What? Oh, no. oh, yeah. And I get an animal of my choosing. So uh, I have a suggestion on the animal. Why do you care? Uh, Which one did you just take? Huh? This one. Took right but why do you care? Oh. Do you have something at the end of the game that gives you... That's four points. Yeah. He was hoping to get to lay those down to ship those right. jewels off. Oh. I see. So what animal do I want? I Do I have it? Why can't do you lay I? down? Oh, because you have to play your guy out. Mm -hmm. But you'll still get to lay down next. Well, I'll be laying down on that board. Oh, is... you can only flip on the board you lay down. Yeah. Right. That's right. Unless all of those and the ones oh, on your own man. board are... Mistakes are used made. Up. Yeah, that's dumb. Oh, I well. guess I'm going with a cow. Yeah, I guess a cow it is. That's the last cow. I don't think I'm going to get to lay down anyway. All right, Adrian. Man, I feel wait, like... Wait, wait, wait. Did I get skipped? Kay. I don't know. You... Oh, you haven't You haven't gone yet. You were just playing around. Yeah. Okay, sorry. Cave Hines says, When I hear a chorus of crap, I'm a moron. The game goes on my buy list. Well, that's four thumbs up, Cave. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Four thumbs up where, I won't say, yeah. but mistakes have been made. Yes. I guess in Germany, instead of doing this for crazy... Hold on, Portos asks, uh, do you reset the Glory to Rome every year, the Glory to Rome board? Um, Portos, that's only been up for like 57, 55, 56 streams. We started it on the 50th playthrough. And we didn't start live streaming downstairs until February 13th, so we haven't. We're, we're, we're still ten. We're only ten months into this thing, so don't know. It would seem an opportune time on Valentine's Day to reset the Glory to Rome board. Right. Maybe it's every fiftieth episode or something. Yeah. Well. Yeah. I don't and then, know. And we'll then you do it out. over and under yeah. for the fifty. That would take two actions. Yeah, we need to reconcile the uh, it's over It's my turn. Okay. And I don't think I can do the things that I want to do. Yeah. I've made serious, serious mistakes. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, dude. I, I think that was genius, putting the uh, plan better, play better on the uh, challenge card. <laughs> it, it was genius until it gets tossed in front of you. And then it's just... It adds insult to injury. <laughs> well, step one, yeah. don't Plan injure better, yourself. Yeah. Oh, okay, I've already done that. That's actually taken care of. I did do that. That's the Aha. Eureka moment. So that may be, maybe I do have time to do this then. <laughs> I'm going to uh, take some tiles. Pass. No one can follow. Okay, so I only get one then. Take a tile. You take tile, singular. Hold on. Well, let, me, let me see the bag. We should have refilled one after I pulled. Oh, yeah. So... Yeah, we're bad about remembering that. Which Don't worry. matters Don't for these worry. fair I tiles, right? I, I assure you I will hear about it in the comments. Village uh, Hall. If you fill them all. If you fill them all. <laughs> <laughs> this is Colorado. <laughs> I'm still like five away from it. Oh, my God. Uh, there you go. Hold on. It's actually on the winter side. So. Okay. So Four chicken. Gold. There's my move. Chicken. All right. Gold. And I would just need the an emerald. Interesting. So that chain, but then I'd have to take it. How do I get it? I have to do a plan move. I can get that. Instead of a goat, it's a chicken. So I can do that, but I really need to upgrade. I need to get this first. <laughs> Mike, it is your turn. It, no, it's not. No, it, it, it is my yeah, turn. Okay. Still. Yeah. All right. So we're going to do some stuff. I don't know if I have enough time. That'd be interesting, Jared. He says you could retire the Glory to Rome board each year, keep it, we get a new board for each new year, and start a wall of Glory to Rome. That's funny. That's pretty good. Oh, 2019 was a bad year. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
My lord, stay have I played target, terribly. Stay on target, stay on target. Orange, so you could follow. No, you... Uh, so you you can... If I go to orange, you can't follow with orange if I played a different color. Correct. You well, have to follow the what's color. What's that, Scott? What was that? All right, so nobody can follow, so go ahead. So you get one upgrade, one sir. One build. I'm sorry, one build, correct. So this is going to go, and the boatman is coming here, and I'm never going to get both, so which one might I get? This one, which goes there, so this one can go anywhere. Very disappointed in you. What's that? Using a blue guy to build? No, go ahead. We could, have, we could have built more. We still together. can. Go ahead. That seems like it benefits you more than me. Mm, I'm not sure. Edward's turn. Yeah. I think an emerald right there would work. Oh, I definitely don't need emeralds. Oh. I've got multiple ways to change my terrain. Oh, that's so gross. A couple of upgrades. That's nice, and that's nice. So those are going to come in useful, as is the ruby. So, um, you know what? We're going to keep it in-house, it looks like. So the question is, what do we do? Um, getting more is better, so I will place that there. I will turn in one orange cube, get two bricks. Two bricks. Stanley's uh, two, Stanley bricks. two bricks. All right. That's done. No, I'm saying who? The owner of the video. I, I'm, I guess I'm, maybe I'm tired. I'm not following. Go ahead, Adrian. I think he's just asking who runs the show. No. So I need to do, or I would, well, I would like to Ooh. do. Oh, he means who's running this thing? Like no, no, the no, and stuff? I, no. All right, I'm gonna change this gold into a sapphire. All right, Mike. Oh, well, you, you just that? made my decision. These guys go over, so now we're gonna do three things. Yep. So one and two cows. All right, cool. Uh, no cows for you, sir. Oh, excuse me. Let me get you all the cows here. <sighs> what did the cow say to you? No. Fine, I will sell two freaking cows. It's four points either way. Right. Oh, oh my god. god. I know. You broke your string. It's terrible. Biker, you're up. Already? Yeah. Um, okay, so I've got that. Uh, next time I'll come back and I'll take that. I need to upgrade it. So upgrading is the... Oh, but I can't do both. I can't do it all. I can't do it all. Because I'm going to be the last guy. I'm not going to get the lay down. You're going to be that guy. Because somebody is hogging the black. So what's more important? Upgrading this, which gets me an extra... That's eight points instead of four. Or what the hell's... Oh, or getting... Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get that. Oh, man. We're doing a ship action. Yeah, I think I need to upgrade. One. You can't I'm follow. One, no, I'm one, one action short. So, so we get to do two upgrades. Yeah, we do. All right. Edward's turn. If you have two things you can upgrade. Oh, I could have upgraded to hold more. Uh, it just gives you more points. It doesn't hold anymore. Oh, but these score, though. Yeah, yes, yeah. they do. Yeah. All right. So well, I, already upgraded I need to build so. this. So we need to build it at a discounted rate. So this guy is going to come over here on Adrian's board. And nobody can follow, I don't believe. No. Uh, so I will get the discounted build. The discounted build is one less, so that'll be the orange. I paid for that. That will go there. I don't think I paid for that. Done. So. Um, now you can lay down, Adrian. Yeah. I'm going to lay this guy down, and I'm going to turn this gold into... Wait, is that what I want to do? Which is more likely to happen, I suppose. I can't. It's... 
I, I will say there's going to there's going to be a lot of headroom for improved play on subsequent games. <laughs> yep, I definitely feel that loud and clear. Hmm. Man, you've got one person left. I do. So I'll get two, this lay down and one more. That's not enough. Yeah, this killed me being the last. You being able to piggyback on that black and waiting me out was the kill killer. Otherwise, it'd be reversed. I could have used a lay down bigly. Yeah, I'll take just any cube. It doesn't matter. Okay. Oh, I needed that lay down so Have bad. cube. All right. right, my worthless action is to go mining for emeralds. I, I will take them if you have nothing better to do. Kleiker, your last placement. I might get lapped. It's not going to be pretty. <laughs> I don't know. I, I feel like I deserve to be in last. Oh, no. Uh, I feel like you're doing really well. But may, uh, we'll see. We'll find out. We're moments away. If, oh, my if gosh. We, I think I just messed something I've up. I've moved so fast. Each set counts as one. Set and you do four sets. Minutes. Yeah. That's, that's my understanding. Wait, what's that? It's the only thing that makes sense for those. For the three Bs. Four sets of six, right? Yeah. Is the max. Four sets yeah. of three. Yeah. I was thinking four, so two sets. <laughs> <laughs> I think... <laughs> it's we've trained him now. It's like clicker training. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. Um, I should, okay. So I use I'll just go quick. Here. Really, the only thing I think I can do is get an additional farm animal. Because um, with this guy, I was looking for a space. Like, I can't go in... They have to match color. Unless it's white. Unless it's white. Was that there? Yes. No, it's there you go. I would love to ship. You need obviously. Sapphires. But I can't. Do I need that. emeralds and you need sapphires, Clanker. I don't know if you actually do, but you need sapphires. I don't need sapphires. On this board right here. Yeah, I don't. It can't help you. Yeah, it does. Why? Because you get to lay down next. Yeah. Um, I think I'm just gonna get a barnyard animal that scores and either one is here, so we'll do I'm gonna get that board, so I'll just get a Boar, I guess. Oh no, I already have boars. Boar, chicken, goat, deer, deer. Deer aren't available. Yeah, they are. Right there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh dear. I mean, because I can't get all right, this. So we all get a lay down. So for me, it's got to be. Oh, it's only one. Wait, 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 no. It's right there. So that's three upgrades. This kills me. I can't for me. Lay down. Terrible. So three upgrades is going to be. One, two, three, right there. So it's going to be one, two. So that means all of these are upgraded now. Major and actually, hold on. We'll keep that there. I'll take one of these to upgrade. Mm. Done. All right. What's a GTR? Glory, Glory to Rome. Oh, yeah. Hey, yeah. Uh, Go kindly put it somewhere. I'll upgrade. I'm gonna upgrade this farm pile for a square. I and really. I'm I'll tell you, the, the game breaker for me is gonna be that I didn't, that you didn't pass on that shipping and give me the chance to ship on it. Because I had, I was set up for shipping. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, Mike, take final action. Done. All right, so here we go. So anybody who did not lay down their guys on their keep tiles but nobody has we're good uh all right winter fairs anybody yep i get both of mine Ooh. i've got they a can't see that sorry i've got a boar and a chicken yep with a yep sapphire ruby and the other one so i get both of those yep all right nicely good done. done and nobody else has them all right uh and yeah, now you must fire. house all your animals one chicken. Yep. Everyone away. good? Yep. Okay. Same here. And now retrieve your boards and your keeper or keeples. Oh, but leave the things on their place. No, no. Dog, nobody no. has any of those, do they? No, it's not 
that doesn't matter. It's just because you're going to have, just don't mess with the boards. Yeah, I definitely want to play again. <laughs> so take your board. Okay. And blue. And Why does this matter? Because if you have any end game scoring that has to do with the, the time. So, like, if you had have. this, at your final board that you take, every black square on it would be worth one. Oh, I, I, that was completely lost on me. I don't think I have any of those anyway, but. All right. I don't have any tiles like that. Yeah. I wish okay. I had. Okay, so now we go to the end of the game. So, here we go. So, all resources and keepals can now be moved around. Uh, if need be, which, oh, I lost my deer. Are we limited to eight again? Um, no, because you can, you, can, you can man things if anything needs to be manned for scoring-wise. Do the, the ones that are like the jewel cutter to score those three, it has to be manned? Is that the way that works? Let me or double check that. The only one that didn't get I mean, out. I don't think it's a problem. Who is it? Uh, jewel cutter, or basically be ale. Well, I guess you're a ring maker. The jewel cutter. Da, 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 um, no, it's worth points it's at the end. Three, no, yeah, okay. yeah. So, all right. So here, um, Adrian, why don't we start with you for your in-game scoring? Okay. All right. So, so resources and keepals can be scored once each, obviously. So score each tile and, and go from there, and just use your yeah. tracking board. So there you go. So my Horse yep. on my farm yard gets me one. My four cows at two each get me eight. Move it back two. And, there you go. and that up one. There you go. Um, these can't be equal, so I don't get the full four, but I get so six. six. Yep. Okay. Uh, then over here, each pair of sapphire and gold gets me four, so that's another eight. So back to seven and to there. Okay. These four guys at two each get me eight, so back two, up one. And then I get 10 24. for this pair. Yeah, 24. So. Yeah, you should have scored this quicker. No. Three, Why? Because I'm missing a goat. Oh, he is. Yeah. <laughs> you see what I did there? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. So that's everything. Oh, and then uh, the values for buildings that actually have values. Correct. Um, so this one I get one for every regular, which that's the only regular. No, every, no, every just farm. One of them. So four farm okay. buildings. So I four points. Some of these were upgraded. So yeah, then four more. Uh, this one I get two for all these. So two, four, six, eight, ten. This one I get two and four. This one's worth five. And this one's worth three. That's it. And you got, did you get your fares? Yeah. Okay. So what is that? That's 96? 96. Yeah, All right. Crushed. Mike. All right. Maybe a winner. So four, eight, nine, and eight. And seven. Seven. What's four? 17. Oh, three eight. points for this is 20. So just 20 for the whole farm. Farm. Okay. And then we have 12 points for fares. And then we have 2, 4, 6, 8 for the drainage ditch, 8 for the pavements, 16. Uh, let's score that. 1, 6. So the drainage ditch and the pavement is all done. Mm -hmm. So Rick Maker, six, that me eight, eight thirteen. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's score that. One, three. three. Now the ring maker is a full twenty-four. Twenty-four. And the entertainer is two, four, six. Ninety-five. Five. 96, 95. Did you score your actual fares, though? I did. Yeah, I he did that early enough. enough. Okay. Yep, all right. Okay. Um, thought you were coming for me. I'm not even going to get close <laughs> to that. I was that, trying. I Start left to right. Uh, so I've got four points there. 
and 2, 4, 6 there, so that's 10. Then I've got the dock, which is 12. Then I've got the boatman, which is 8. Um, 65 and 8, 73. 73. And then I've got the fares, which are 12. So there's 10, 11, 12. Three points for that. Oh, Three points you. for that. So, so six, six more. more. So 85 is 91. 91. I would say that was close to it. Yeah, you got it right in there. Man, I needed to get that out. All right. Just was short. All right. So I have no idea. That, that I have shit. not. I have not counted. That so here we go. Be. All right. So we <laughs> got eight for our cows. So that'll be that there and there. there. One for the pig. Points. There. No sheep. Done. Five for the brick maker. Then six for. Oh, you know what? Huh. Well. I actually kind of screwed up a little bit. Oops, that's okay. So, none for the jeweler, because the upgrade, so I shouldn't have upgraded that in hindsight. Eh, okay, well, it is what it is. So, yep. It's oh, no, I, no, I just didn't realize. <laughs> I thought it just went up. I, I almost did that myself. Go. Have to go. have so, it looks like it's going to be 18 for this one. So, 10 and there. Then two points for each on the drainage, so that's going to be two, four, six, eight for that. Yeah, and then six. Mm -hmm. Pavement's going to be a total of six for that. Three for the scrapyard. Six points there. Oof, really? Yep, I guess that's all she wrote. Oof, wow. Ouch. So that is 69. So thank you for playing me. That was really close. Two things killed me. One was if I'd have flipped my thing to a goat so I could have completed that, I just assumed a goat would be out there. It didn't even occur to me that it wouldn't. That would have been six points. And then when you followed on kind of haphazardly on that shipping, if I'd have been able to ship because of these bonuses, I'd have, I'd have had 11. So give me that thing here. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> All right, so thoughts on Keeper? Plenty of room for improved play. Uh, yeah. Plenty of room for improved planning. Wow, there's a lot to lot to plan here. Uh, I I thought that shipping was gonna. Well, it did come out good. Ninety one, ninety five, ninety six. So mm -hmm. it, that came and out it, pretty and close. And it should have been better. Yeah, and that yeah. could. I only got one ship on that last turn. Yep. Mm. I, if I could have even got one more, you would have won. I would have won. Yep. So, but, okay, so room for improvement. Okay, so you played like crap. Fine, whatever. But what do you think of the game it was is awesome. what I'm asking. I really liked it. I think that I actually kind of, I, now granted I haven't played Keyflower a ton, but I think I definitely, I liked this more off of one play than I think I like Keyflower. Right. I like Keyflower. I Key would Flower. agree Keyflower with that. I would agree with that. I, I actually don't, I'm not crazy about Keyflower. The, I, I like the, the way you take Meeple's. 73. This fine. one. Claiming yeah. like entire like yeah that that whole thing of taking you know oh this is mine and now all these workers that are all doing different things is I, I think um, it's interesting uh, the um, we we keep saying well there's definite room for improvement and there is in terms of like learning how to flip the board and, and kind of the like we didn't there wasn't a lot of a guy joining a, a guy already there to get extra stuff. Um, but, but because of the way that these tiles come out randomly, I'm not sure you could... I mean, this was an obvious strategy, shipping, mm -hmm. but I'm not sure you could come up with really a strategy at the beginning and say, this is what I'm going to oh, do. Oh, I think you have to like, be a little bit more fluid. You have it's, to adapt. It's, it's almost yeah. completely just a tactical kind of, okay, I'm, I'm going to oh, do this. Oh, I don't this. think so. I, I definitely yeah, do I, not. I think by the end of summer, you can have a strategy in place. Like, yeah. It's like a lot of games. Like You start off and you're like, well, what it's do a I sandbox. Do? Yeah, right. it's a sandbox. Yeah, yeah. Where do I, where do I go play? And then you start making your castle, and then oh, I'm going to make it this way. Yep, I agree with that. Yeah. I, I I think at first it's highly tactical. Choose your own Not adventure. Sure right? Choose your own going. direction. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. But then after that, once once come through summer, I think at that point you should have a plan in place. Now, mm -hmm. I mean, <laughs> says the guy who scored seventy three points, but you know. 
take that with a grain of salt, but it certainly seems that way. Um, it's got a ton of different uh, resources. I mean, there's what, 19 different, three, six, nine, 12, 15, eight, 19 different resources in the game. Um, but it didn't feel overwhelming. Like it didn't, it didn't feel, da you know. That part did not stress me out. No, no, no that, that part did not. No. It no, was kind of the resource conversion and action allocation and the the color management because you've got to claim the right board. I mean, and, well, it's not just that. It's a matter of when you claim the right mm -hmm. board mm -hmm. and matching up what you choose on your country tile with, mm -hmm. with actually what you have, which I have yet to figure that out. Yeah. I've yet to do that well. Um, I, I'm aware of it, mm -hmm. but... Knowing it and doing it are two different things, right? Yeah. Yes. So, yeah. The irony that I lost by a goat. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. If, if I'd done that... Or, so yeah. I guess technically so, yeah. Adrian got your goat. He did. He did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, consensus, like, oh, I liked enjoyable? It. I liked yeah. it a lot. I, this, this is the coolest thing I've seen in a board game in a while. It's really hard not to just play with it the whole time. I've noticed. The joining mechanic is pretty cool, too. Yes, and the laying down mm -hmm. thing. And yeah. Yep. Yeah. There's a lot of good and, stuff and here. And that's the other thing. In, instantly everybody was like, oh, because I had a lot of guys through most of the game, and it was like, oh, that's such a big advantage. But I'm telling you, no, the I, ability to not lay down at the end of the rounds. Or the inability, was, as it, it were. Again, if I could have laid down, I would have done another shipping action. And it's not just, and that's another thing. So you're claiming tiles not just for the keeples that you'll have for next turn, but what can I lay down for this yes. turn? Which it didn't occur to me. Three games. Yeah. Didn't occur to me until the very end. I was like, oh, I should have claimed the emeralds. Yeah. Uh, it basically occurred to me during winter of this one, right? When you were like, yeah. oh, I can't believe it took you so long. It's because yes. I was waiting to see which one developed in the way that I wanted to take my later actions. Well, but there was only the one, though, that had... Well, I thought you were going for the clay bonus, right? The clay yeah. bonus. Right. Which yeah. is, I mean, I there had were... two that I was counting on playing yeah. here, so I was okay with maybe... Although... I'm it would have made the difference. It would have made the difference. Yeah, so you I'm needed all those way. play guys. Yeah. 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 So yeah, I'm, I'm looking it. forward to playing it more oh, for, for sure. sure. Yeah. Absolutely. And Amanda, Amanda's really bummed she couldn't be on this one because she had to edit the show. Oh. But that just means well, we need to do I it mean, again. I'm just, yeah. I should be editing my show. I'm going to be up all night. So. <laughs> well, you got nowhere to be tomorrow. This yeah. Is, well, I appreciate yeah. it. <laughs> 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 all right, guys. So. Uh, um, let's see. Yeah, Murr says it's a n nice mix of adapting your strategy to what's going on without slowing you down and continuing towards generating points at the end. By summer, yes, you know your direction for the most part, but be opportunistic. And yeah, I think that, yep, pretty much. It, it has that in common with Lahav that you, mm -hmm. one, have to have a strategy and you... But, man, that's a stack of fish. Yeah. <laughs> and and, and, and when that hard. special building yep. comes out, that might be a game changer for someone, and you might have to adapt to it. Yep. So uh, I like that part. That's that's all goodness. Yeah, I definitely think this is uh, the, this in in Keyflower are of the ones I've played so far. Richard Breeze's best two games. Mm -hmm. Will this eclipse Keyflower for me? To be determined. But but uh, but yeah, it's it's on a good trajectory yeah. so far. So even if it doesn't, I'm still enjoying the hell out of oh, my plays. Yeah, it's a great game. I, cool. I really enjoyed that. Cool. All right. Well, thanks, everybody, for joining us. Uh, if you liked the video, um, don't forget to like the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to, before it runs off the screen, over that way, you want to support the show, the 616 patrons we have out there, we definitely would appreciate it. Check it out. Pledge HC. You can also uh, do the same for Mile High Game Guys, which yep, Adrian is a, is a part of. So very glad that Patreon reversed course. Yes, on that. that was huge. Yeah, it was. So yeah, um, hi Lori and goodbye Lori, all in one. <laughs> all right. So all right, thanks everybody. We'll be back tomorrow with the next stream. And yeah, again, I'm Edward. Mac Liker. Uh Who am I today? Sweater Mike. Yeah. <laughs> and Adrian. All right, y'all have a good night. Take, Take care. care. Good night, everyone.